Yo, you tuned in to Gorilla Cross Radio. What's up and welcome to another season of Speak Life Radio right here on GorillaCross.com. SpeakLifeRadio.com, the Gorilla Cross app. I'm your host, Quan59, and we got a dope show for you. We got a brand new artist signed to God Over Money, just signed on New Year's Day. It was announced. Kay Alico is going to be live on the line with us today. I got a special guest in the studio, Kyle Lowry. We're going to be freestyling with him and playing one of his joints. And all the way from Las Vegas now, Jamaica Jacobson is going to be in the building as well. So uh, we got a dope show for you today. We're going to get into some new music from Ty Brazel, uh, Armand Wake Up, uh, Kalo, Dayton. We have a lot of dope music we're going to be playing today. And that live conversation with Kay Alico is going to come up very soon. So uh, when we come back, I'm going to introduce you to, to uh, Kyle Lowry. I almost call him Kalo again. He changed his name, so we're going to see what's up with that and Jamaica in the building. Tune in, let everybody know we are live on the air right now, right here on Speak Life Radio, New Music Friday. I'm excited. It's 2018. We're not going to do any New Year's resolutions because uh, we break them all the time. You feel me? So uh, we're going to jump into this brand new track from Ty Brazel called No More right here at Gorilla Cross. Speak Life Radio, GorillaCross.com. Sentences, new melodies, more infinite, endless gold medals, my preference. Success for I'm blessed and regrets keep me humble. My sin keep me at the mercy seat. Mercy me. I can only imagine dragons in my dreams. I'm stuck in the jungle, it's snakes in the path. It's mud through, I'm stepping over the track and hurdles. I lost my way on the way. I feel the weight always pressing. Too much pressure before I crumble. I'm honest, I got high blood pressure from this stress. Too much. I know I was made for the prosper and such. So and spirit, God. For the beaten peace, all I ask when I pray this season. Odell in the off season, a setback. Set me with the mindset, run with my jetpack. Look at God, son, how I rose through the flame. Look at God, son, rose up, took my shame. Yeah, no more, no more. I won't be set back no more. I move the fast pace, don't slow it. I lost my way for the last. Look, I won't be set back no more I move the fast pace, don't slow it I lost my way for the last time, yeah, yeah Get it right, get it right I lost my way for the last time Too much life, look in my eyes Ooh, now it's time to shine New levels, new devils, more money, more stress And new sentences, new melodies, more infinite Endless gold medals, my preference Success brought me more problems than before Therapy, instrumental psychologist. These melodies heavenly, and my flow is the exorcist. Whoa, kicking demons out my residence. Okay, young T, I got angels on the premises. Okay, this is real enlightenment, no pyramids. No, I roll with Yahweh, I got wisdom. Yeah, oh, so they roll with the devil, and they claim 666. Well, I'm on heaven's schedule. Rose gold, my crucifix. Whoa. This time I'm going for the championship, oh boy I can't stay down, I can't stay down no more No more, no more I won't be set back no more I move the fast pace, don't slow it I lost my way for the last time, yeah But no more, no more Look, I won't be set back no more I move the fast pace, don't slow it I lost my way for the last
go. That's a brand new track from Ty Brazzle, No More, right here on Gorilla Cross Speak Life Radio, New Music Friday. This is the latest one from Dayton, Go Time, featuring Jared Sanders, Bunk Imp, Mars Ferrer, off the Menace mixtape. Really dope track right here, Gorilla Cross Speak Life Radio. We'll be right back with that K. Alico live conversation right here, Speak Life Radio. Slow me down, no way is go time. I'll never let them slow me down, no way is go time. With a rap pattern that's this cold, you would think I'm savage and schizo. My rhymes pack a punch, kinda like a Vladimir Klitsch code. Jack with a fist closed, a Marvin Hagler with swift blows. The Holy Spirit inhabits the kids, so I'm like the last dragon with his glow. Divine intervention is fire subject matter that hits home, and it will pierce you like when a javelin gets thrown. See, when your hopes are to provoke thoughts, a body eternity to industry with closed doors. So I'm a goat charge all them closed doors with the bold force of a pro ball nose guard. Dope bars on my quotes are full of major keys like the grand piano of Mozart. We on a new wave like the Coast Guard and explosive like the No 4. Which sides I hold my ground So no, I won't let a hater kill this drive Or slow me down No way is go time I'll never let them slow me down No way is go time Just know I'm gonna Yo. hold my ground I got a fitted cap on with the strap, dog. It's go time in the past park. It's no sign when the gas spark. And then the whips ghost riding. It's that shark submitting the black thoughts and the black arts to molly popping and crack talk. And I ain't really trying to rap all dangerous. But when the rap cats do a act job and it's whack and they all tats and they plats all painted, I'll be wishing I could smack y'all brainless. But then I woo side cause I act all jaded And I probably get blackballed quicker than the major league fastball Probably gotta act more gracious It's probably make the raps all tainted Or maybe make a cat more famous And then I picture that cross for him picking up the hacksaw And I act more like I'm not blameless Bless Just know I will never waver or switch sides I ain't hold my ground Or slow me down No way is go time I'll never let them slow me down No way is go time Just know I'm gonna hold my ground I got my dad hat on with the strap lace And a P938 on my back waist uh, With an extra magazine But I don't want no issues Cause my only subscription is to have faith Speaking of issues My wifey said that I had a few And my therapist said that I need to be in a padded room So I left them both and make a face so serious you can't distinguish whether if that's a joke. <laughs> Stop playing, my God gave him a slingshot with a rock, homie, and now I'm aiming with a harmful intent. Goliath gets stuck worse than Vince Carter with his arm in the rim. I just want to see y'all free and give praises to G.O.D. Cause he's beyond me, spit for him like he's on Lee. And one more thing. The Warriors blew a 3-1 lead, I'm petty. <laughs> Which sides I hold my ground So no, I won't let a hater kill this drive Or slow me down No way is go time I'll never let them slow me down No way is go time Just know I'm gonna hold my ground Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Speak Life Radio. That was go time. And uh, new season, new technical difficulties. But, yo, we're here live. We're about to get live on the line with K. Alico. 
in a couple of minutes. And uh, before we get into that, we got some special guests live in the studio. Got over here on my right, bobbing his head, local hip hop artist. Been doing a lot of shows everywhere though, so you can catch him in different cities. Um, they call him the Christian. Uh, I'm trying to think of a white rapper right now. Please don't. You know how they always do that? Like, <laughs> oh, you're like you're like the Christian NF. Well, stop. NF. I love NF. Pause. I love NF. I love NF. <laughs> Uh, what's that dude's name, man? I'm trying to no think. Comparison. Who, no who, comparison. No who, comparison. Who's who's the hot white dude right I mean, now? Just because of not flow. He he, he, he dropped a uh an album the same day as uh oh, Eminem. G Easy. G Easy. That's right. No, I don't want the G Easy comparison. No, nah, I would never do that to you. <sighs> I'll take Logic. I'll take that comparison. No, don't take any mm-hmm. comparisons. Thank you. My man Kalo's gonna freestyle for us later on in the show. He has his boy in the building too, so uh, we're gonna have a little freestyle session and interview him about what's going on with his music. Um, We're going to be doing an indie artist music review in the second hour. And I got some critics here that that are going (laughs) to critique your music. (laughs) And we got Jamaica Jacobson in the building. What's up, y'all? Visiting the studio for the first time since we opened the studio when it was like bare and no paint on the walls, no furniture. And you were actually on the show. I was. I was on the show. That was dope. Yeah. You got to get into that mic. The first time. Use those uh, expensive mics that. <laughs> no, that's okay. No background noise. No, nah, that's okay. No, nah, and that was fun too. That was my first radio interview ever. Yeah, that's so, dope. That's dope. Glad to be back. So we'll talk about what she's doing and, and where you can get her stuff because uh, she makes some dope jewelry. Thank you. And you guys need to buy it today. <laughs> and everything is 50% off. Boy, <laughs> no, don't I'm you joking. dare. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Don't you dare. But, uh, yo, we're gonna, about to get in that live conversation with Kay Alico in a minute when we come back. Follow us on all social media at Gorilla Cross. Uh, you can download the free app. We have breaking news. We have a lot of music, sports. We do sports shows twice a week. Shout out Unnamed Sports Show. My man Josh, Steve, and Dave on there with me every Tuesday and Thursday. We have Speak Life Radio, New Music Friday, every Friday. We're going to be consistent for 2018. We are uh, upgrading the studio. Everything's working good now, or it should be. And if it's not, then we're still going to be on. And you, and you just get more technical difficulties. Um, and then Monday nights, Speak Life Radio has been on Tuesday nights forever, but we're moving it to Monday nights at 7 p.m. And uh, that's going to be more of an interview-based, conversation-based radio show, not near as much music. Uh, we're going to be getting different people in, not just hip-hop artists. Uh, so Friday, if you're into Christian hip-hop, that's going to be the show for you. Uh, we're going to be playing new music, doing a lot of indie artist reviews, uh, freestyle contests, different things. So... Uh, just stay locked in for that. All the music we're playing in the background is courtesy of Theory Has It from the Soul Chops. Make sure you download. Man, he, he dropped a new beat tape every single month in the year 2017. So he was putting in mad work. So uh, big shout out to Theory. And uh, if you like those beats in the background, go to GorillaCross.com. Just look up Theory Has It. And all his stuff is right there. So uh, we're going to jump into one more song. This is Armand Wake Up, The Vanity. And then we're going to come right back with K. Alico live conversation. God over money. Yeah. Yeah. Their God is humanity. Their royalty is vanity. Their God is humanity. Their royalty is vanity. Their God is humanity. Their royalty is vanity. Their genius is a blasphemy. Jesus is a masterpiece. Now if I go to heaven and I see Jesus as European, it's meaningless. Imagine me rejecting Christ as man perverted his appearance. We supposed to live by faith and not what man presents us. I'm wrestling with a yes that doesn't come with conditions, doesn't come with suspicions, doesn't come with opinions. I've been worshiping a Christ that doesn't come with religion, doesn't come with restrictions, it only comes with intention. I've been inching towards the mark. They on Instagram flicking for a spark. They been feeling in the dark. I am different, I'm a part. So part of me, I'm partly grieved, intrigued that you were part the sea and still be part of me. When I see these perps perpetrating their power, perceive us as nothing more than cowards in the choir. I inquire in the quietness. Let your fire refine us such that it would burn and turn as a sign that you define us. Their God is humanity. Their royalty is vanity. Their God is humanity. Their royalty is vanity. Their God is humanity. Their royalty is vanity. 
Right. Their genius is a blasphemy. All right. Jesus is a master. Yeah. Spent a lot of time mourning over Nars. Tears cutting through skin, scabbing over the scars. What I swore was my demise was the skies as the prize. Cause what I'm reaching for is worth more than what's behind. So tell my troubles I'm fine. Cause what I find is when I dig through the rubble, they hustle where I recline. They stumble where I would fly, running through the defining moments. They become omens, they scribble, I draw the line. I'm Kevin Owens with heaven open. Better yet, I'm Okada at the dome, but Omega ain't my opponent. This is more than what I fantasize. I had a plan to rise the next generation of greatness. Tell Satan, stand aside. You strategize, I pray. You tell them to set a date. My goal's to seize the day. You tell them they need to pay. I show them they need a way. What they're used to is the disgrace. You shoot your rule in this place. Their God is humanity. Their royalty is vanity. Their God is humanity. Yeah. Their royalty is vanity. Their God is humanity. Their royalty is vanity. Their genius is a blasphemy. Jesus is a masterpiece. Their God is humanity. Their royalty is vanity. Their God is humanity. Yeah. Their royalty is vanity. Their God is humanity. Their royalty is vanity. Their genius is a blasphemy. Jesus is a masterpiece. Yeah. Yeah, welcome back to Speak Life Radio. New Music Friday right here on Gorilla Cross Radio. That was Vanity by Armand Wake Up. And we're going to get live on the line with my man Kay Alico in about five seconds here um and we got jamaica and kyle live in the building and we're going to be talking to them in a minute too in the second hour and we're going to be playing your music live on the radio show and critiquing it so if you don't have thick skin man i don't know what to tell you but we're about to get k alico live on the line right now i'm um, really excited about this conversation with him uh he just signed to god over money and, you know, it, it was kind of unexpected. Got over money. He had, had signed Jared Sanders last year. Um, I, I think it came to me as a surprise just because it was a different sound than what we're used to uh, with God over money. But it was, you know, it, it's the trendy style that's out there right now. And I think it's something that as a record label, you need to, you know, keep up with the trends and, and know what's going on. But uh, we got my man K Alico on the line right now, right here. Speak Life Radio. What's good, son? What's happening? What's good with you? Chilling, man. What's up with you? Not too much, man. Just uh, just soaking everything again and enjoying the moment, you know. Yeah, man. So 2018 started off really good for you, man. Uh, they announced on January 1st that you got signed to God over money, man. What was that like? Uh, just being able to get that announcement out because I know you probably had been in talks with them for a long time before it was actually announced. Uh, oh, but what was that like, oh, man, yeah, to, had, to get we, that? We have been, um, me and Bizzle, been, we've been rocking for a little minute. So, um, But we just recently, towards the end of last year, um, probably about uh, three months, three, four months prior to the new year, uh, he flew me out of Texas and stuff. So I've been kind of holding that in since then. Um, you know, a couple of my inner people in my inner circle, whatever, I let them know. But everybody been excited to share the news. So to actually get it out there, man, it was it was dope, man. Definitely. Yeah, so what what was it like, man? How did you, you and Bizzle, you know, start interacting to begin with for him to even want to consider signing you? Uh, what was that whole process like? Um, We, we had a show together. Um. In Orlando, 2012, me, him, Willie Moore Jr. had a show together. Um, they came through, they did. They think I ended up giving them a CD. I wasn't going to give them no CD, but something just prompted me to give them a CD. I, re I definitely respected him as an artist, um, the angle that, in which he came in on. You know, he took a lot of backlash and stuff like that, just kind of being an outsider, yeah. per se. So, you know, I gave him I gave him my music because I, I connected with him on that level. Um, not because of his status or anything like that. And he checked it out like 30 minutes after he left. Uh, 15, 30 minutes l later, he ended up calling me. And he was telling me like, bro, like, well, you got it. You know what I'm saying? Me and P-Dub, you know, we listen to your stuff like you dope. And we just start, we started building from there. You know what I'm saying? He he got some of my content put on Rapzilla for me. Um, and we just, we've been building from there, man. We've been rocking since 2012. You've been rocking since 2012, you said? 
Yeah, a lot of people don't know it because, you know, I, I move in silence. I don't put everything okay. out there to, like, you know what I'm saying? Some stuff you can't put out there prematurely. A lot of times yeah, people definitely. just throw stuff out there, and you just, you just never know. So, you know, just keep keep it on the wraps. But we've been rocking, though, since 2012. Like, you know, I had an op- uh, opportunity with a cu- couple other labels and stuff like that. Um, but after I turned them down, just like, you know, I'm not really trying to sign or nothing like that. It's a peer. Biz was the only one who, even after I told him, you know, bro, I got trust issues, woo, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to sign. Yeah. You know, kind of afraid of signing. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing what all it would entail and if people would try to change me as a person, as an artist. But I chopped it up with him and told him about it. And brother's like been in my corner. He's been rocking. Like, he was like, hey, however, I just want to support, bro. However that look, if that's just me sharing your music to my platform, if that's me signing you to God over money, he was like, however God leads, I just want to help, man. He's just been that solid brother, like, you know what I'm saying, since 2012, we've been right. Wow. So what was it like when you decided to sign, uh, you know, finally with God over money? What was that conversation like? Um, I had, I put out a project, man, and we, like I said, we had started back kind of talking a, a little bit about it, and I put out a project called No Fear, um, it was around, where it was around, what, August, yeah, like around my birthday, around August the 18th, okay. and, um, me and him, want, he wanted to do something with me with that project, he just wanted, we was gonna do like a little venture deal with just that project and just see what happens, but I had already put it out, I didn't release it, um, digitally, but I had printed up copies. I did a release party and everything of that nature. And, you know, I was just trying to sell and, and, and get back what I had invested into it off the top before I put it on iTunes and all of that stuff. And um, I had been praying and stuff like that, man. And he had been in my spirit. So um, my team, they had been on there. It's like, bro, we need to get it on. We need to get it on the other digital outlets and everything like that. Because, you know, we had put a lot of time, a lot of work into it. And for some reason, I was just like, you know, not yet. Like, something was just like, not yet, not yet, not yet. And so, man, Biz and the Biz ended up hitting me up um, one day. And he was like, bro, for the last couple of days, I've been checking, you know, like, iTunes and all of that stuff. I don't see your project out. So, like, you know, what's what's up with that? What you going to do with it? And so we, we, we actually took the project, and we're going to kind of revamp it. So, um, you know what I'm saying? We... we like I say, it's a, it's a lot, man. It's a it's a lot. It's a lot I can discuss with you guys that we've been that we've been working on, yeah. man. So, um, so you're actually gonna release that project under God or Money now? So basically, right. So we we okay. we gonna. I don't I don't know if I I, I might be giving y'all a little bit too much information, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we we can take it, man. We'll we'll keep it <laughs> yeah, secret. So we, 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 don't, have, we, we don't get a lot of listeners anyway, so you know we don't we don't say anything to anyone outside. <laughs> But nah, so yeah, we we probably gonna re-release. We probably gonna re-release. Um, same title, whatever. Probably just revamp the project. You know, make make it a new project for the people who already have it, to where they can purchase it. And, you know, they won't feel like they getting got over on yeah. by the, by it being the same project, basically. Now, what's the biggest thing and the biggest reason you wanted to sign with God Over Money besides just your relationship with Bizzle? Uh, what was it about God Over Money that attracted you to want to sign with them? And and just start, you know, your this part of your music career under under their label. Um, like I say, I, I have been doing a lot of praying. I know God had revealed to me that I was walking in fear in a lot of areas of my life, and that was one of them. Like I say, I had uh, other opportunities, you know what I'm saying, that I I've yet to mention or you know what I'm saying really put out there anything like that. Um. But I, I I just been afraid. I've been afraid, you know what I'm saying, just to step out and, and you know what I'm saying, and, and really go forth with what I know I'm supposed to be doing because, yeah. you know, dealing with people uh, from, from being younger, people seeing my talent and, you know, sitting down with me and my mom and putting, you know what I'm saying, basically saying like, oh, we want to manage him, we want to do this, we're going to yeah. do X, Y, Z, and then we agree to it, and then none of it never happens, and now I'm stuck under this contract. So dealing with that kind of stuff when I was younger, it just – had a, a grip of fear on me and so like i say god just had been dealing with me about that and so um i'm just i just have been praying like god help me open me up you know yeah. what i'm saying help me to get past this fear so that i can i can do what it is that you called me to do on the scale and the level that you are designed for me to be able to do it on and you know everything just kind of unfolded just like it just unfolded you know what i'm saying yeah. he was there 
the right time, you know what I'm saying? The conversations that we would have with, you know what I'm saying, entail a whole lot of uh, confirmation of things that that me and God have been talking to, you know what I'm saying, talking about and, you know what I'm saying, stuff that God would give me. Biz would come out and say certain things that would confirm and let me know. So it just, it just kind of, you know what I'm saying, not to be too deep on the spiritual tip, but it just kind of, you know, God kind of incorporating it, everything and just kind of made it yeah. come together. <clears throat> I would have never, I, I never would have thought I would have signed with God over mine. I even told Biz, I was like, you know, y'all got that, you know, up north kind of hip hop type vibe. I was like, I'm not even that artist. I was like, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know how that would have would have worked and still to, at this point you know what i'm saying a lot of people notice and recognize it's like okay this is definitely different from you know what i'm saying what we've known god yeah. over money to be or the, the artists that we've known them to bring on but <clears throat> like i say on on the, on the spiritual tip on the spiritual side i just feel real good about it i got yeah. i got peace about it i never had peace about dealing with anybody you yeah. know what i'm saying it could have been me just being in the way of that but i don't know god just really gave me a peace about it so you know we all the way in that's dope, and I, I think it's good, man, for a label like God Over Money to evolve and, and you know, get a artist like you that, that's making the style of music you're making right now. Um, we're going to get into this song. It's the introduction freestyle. Tell us about this real quick, because I know uh, you just put this out the other day. Tell us about this real quick, and then we're going to uh, we're gonna play that. Oh, yeah, man, the, the K. Alico introduction freestyle, pretty much just a little track we put together. Um, well, I, I kind of had it in my archives, and when we was getting ready to um, do the name change and everything, it just we, we just thought it was a dope track, you know what I'm saying, a dope introductory track. It's definitely not, you know what I'm saying, me as an artist, so you can't just really lock in on that and yeah. say, okay, well, we know what type of artist he is, because we got way more. But um, it's the introduction, man, the K. Alico introduction, man, the beginning of a new era. Dope. So let's jump into this, and when we come back, we're going to talk to K. Alico about his name change from T-Strike to K. Alico and just get a brief history of uh, where he started from. So this is the introduction freestyle right here, Gorilla Cross Speak Life Radio. We're going to be right back. That's K. Alico right here, Gorilla Cross Speak Life Radio. That's the intro freestyle. God over money, newest artist right here on Gorilla Cross Speak Life Radio. We're live on the line with him right now. So, uh, man, tell us about the name change real quick, bro. You were T-Strike uh, for the longest, and, and you changed your name to K. Alico. Uh, tell us about that, man. What was the reasoning behind that? Um... <laughs> It was it was uh it was God inspired definitely. Um, it ain't really nothing too too deep. I just um yeah I just thought it was time for a new name. You know moving forward, just um stepping out on coming out. You know what I'm saying coming out the gate with something new. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying my sound being a little bit newer and just being a a, a different person than who I've been, you know what I'm saying? All the growth and everything I've been through, I feel like it has created 
uh, and catapulted me to another level yeah. as an artist, you know what I'm saying, Ar- artistically and stuff like that. So, um, you know, there's pretty much K Alico, um, <clears throat> the K stands for King, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of artists that call themselves King, this, King, that. So, yeah. um, when I when I presented the name Change the Biz, he was just kind of like, uh, let's try, let's think of something different, you know what I'm saying? You wanted to be a little different because you got King, this, King, that. Um, he kind of went down a list of artists that I didn't even know about with the, yeah. with the King name, and so he shortened it up to K. And he was just like, "Let's, what about K Alico?" You know what I'm saying? Just so the what, K for what's short. The, what's so that's Alico? What we did. Alico is pretty much where I'm from. Okay. It's Osceola, so it's Osceola. It's Osceola backwards. It's my city name backwards. Okay, basically. cool, dope, dope. So um, King Alico, God, God basically, you know what I'm saying, gave me a vision and showed me that he would allow me to rebuild my city. Um, like I say, if you're not familiar, you can look up Osceola, Georgia, small, small, small country town, two red lights on the same street. Yo, you, um, you, same don't, highway you don't, you don't sound like, like you're from 20, Georgia, bro. Feet apart from each other. You don't sound like you're from Georgia. You say I don't sound like I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> when you, you definitely sound like you're from Georgia. <laughs> Hey, look, I was about to say, that's the first time I nah. ever heard that. <laughs> now, you got that heavy Georgia accent. Uh, Man, how long you been rapping, bro? Because you, you, you know, you sound young. You, you know, your your music style is, is a younger style, but you know, you, you you interacting with Biz for so long makes me think you're older than I thought you were. But uh, how how long you been rapping for, man? And how old are you? Um, I ain't gonna tell y'all my age. <laughs> you, you, you one of those, huh? But uh, I've been I've been. <laughs> but now I've been doing music. Uh, I've been doing music since I was 11 years old. Okay, so for about twenty five years, <laughs> <laughs> something like that. You know what I'm saying? You kind of just you kind of just do the math in your head. You yeah. know, whatever you come up with that work. <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. So man, who who have been your biggest mu- musical in- musical influences? Uh, you know, in, in hip hop, um, in general, just coming up. Like, what made you even start wanting to be a rapper? Um. You know, especially being out well, there in Atlanta, man, there's so many people, or, or Georgia, I mean, there's so many people like in the Atlanta area and all over Georgia uh, making music. So are you influenced from that scene or are you just influenced from outside sources? Um, Musically, just being inspired by music, period, coming up, Michael Jackson was my 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 go-to, you know Shimon. what I'm saying? Michael Jackson was that guy that just... He was just that dude that just made me love music. Like, just yep. seeing him do what he did and to the degree that he did it. Like, I had every mic. He was the first artist that I ever purchased music. Like, we had Walkman then. Woo, um, you're you definitely know, the, the, 32. The tape, so. You're definitely 32 or older. <laughs> we had, we you want to say Walkman, walk, yeah. And, uh, man. Listen, I had every Michael Jackson tape you could think of, bro. You said like, tape, I so had DVDs. You said tape, so you're at least 35. I had everything, man. <laughs> hey, but be proud, bro, because hey, I, I, I thought you were in your 20s. You look younger. You look younger. So shout out to you for that. Hey, look, we go. We gonna lead up. We gonna lead out within the hour. Some, you know, somebody <laughs> gonna find out though. Somebody gonna get, somebody gonna get down to the bottom of it sooner or later. So I'm, I'm gonna go I'm to your Facebook right now. See your it, you know see if your birthday's on there on Facebook. <laughs> but yeah, so Michael Jackson was my my first initial musical influence. Of course, he didn't influence me to to do what he did, but he just influenced me. Like I I I, began, I grew a love for music through his his love for music. Yeah. Now what turned me on to rapping and feeling like I can do it is watching Lil Wayne. Um, I remember the Hot Boys came out and. Um, I, me and my people, we by that time we was into music or what, into the rap scene or whatever. Yeah. But you know, just just for listening purposes, you know what I'm saying? Like we didn't yep. feel like we ain't had nobody come out from where we was from, or we had nobody make it from our city. So you know what I'm saying? Them kind of things weren't even really dreams to us no more. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just kind of stuck with the reality of what we saw, which was my city. And I I seen Lil Wayne and he was young and I'm just like dang like if this guy can do it like he killing it people was vibing so he kind of influenced me as a child to be like well dang you know what I'm saying I'm young but yeah he doing it so maybe I can do it yeah and so I I kind of got I just kind of you know started writing and stuff from there you know what I'm saying I did a talent show in middle school and one of my teachers made me um it was a, it was like a masterpiece song or something like that and one of my teachers was like. 
you executed that so good. Like, do you write your own stuff? Have you ever thought about writing? I was like, nah, I just love music. Uh-huh. She was like, well, let's make a deal. She was like, next year when you come back to the talent show, I want you to do something original. And so that whole summer uh-huh. I started writing, and that was it right there. From from that from that mark, that you know, what I'm saying musically, I just been into that since then. Yeah. Does uh, August eighteenth, nineteen eighty seven, ring a bell to you? <laughs> All right, we'll leave it there. <laughs> no, <Hey>, court, court, <laughs> court on it. Come on, man. I, I got sources. I got sources everywhere. Um, so tell us about your court transition. Up, my birthday. Up. <laughs> tell us about your transition into being a Christian. Uh, uh, you know, finding God. How did you find God? Uh, how old were you in that? And what was your transition like? You know, just making hip hop and then transitioning that into you know being a Christian making hip hop. Uh, man, okay, let me try to condense this. Um, my transition, I pretty much, I was in um, South Beach. I, I was working um, with doing some stuff with Slip and Slide Records. Um, I actually had a record deal on the table uh, from them at one point of time. But I I, um, I was down in Miami doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was with, a, with another label out there, and they was, you know, they was looking for me a crib. Um, and all of this stuff or whatever, they were trying to sign me on as an artist and a producer and everything else that I do. And in the midst of being down there, they give me all the drugs I want. They're taking me to every strip club. At this point, I had never been to the strip club. But when wow. I got down there, they exposed me to all of that kind of stuff. So they pretty much get everything that I thought I, that I, thought I wanted, they had it. Um, in the midst of me being a high man, God just touched my heart one day. And that's why I'm convinced that no matter where you at or what you're going through, like, you ain't never too far out of the reach of God. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, so make sure y'all note that. Yeah, definitely. But I was getting high one day smoking, and God, you know what I'm saying, touched my heart, and I ended up, you know, telling the people that I can't do it no more. I ended up leaving, going to Savannah, kicking it with some of my brothers in Christ. And the transition for me musically was crazy because I didn't know no Christian hip. I didn't know outside. Of, I didn't know nothing about CHH. Yeah. I didn't know nobody. I knew nobody. Um, the first artist that I actually heard was The Truth. Okay, yeah. And he was kind of like on some poetic stuff, but it was dope. And yeah. then somebody put me onto his music. So I, I, so when I first when I first gave my life to Christ, I just felt like, okay, I can't do music no more because music was my life. I'm just like, okay, I'm dedicating my life to God. You know, and music got, for me was just secular music. So if I can't do it, if I'm not yeah. doing that no more, then I'm just going to submit myself to the church and... You know, whatever, you know, if God want me to be an usher at the yeah. church or, <laughs> you know, a deacon or whatever. But no, like, real I talk, man, be, I, I think I'm that's funny. Save my life. Yeah, I think that's I mean? funny because a lot of artists that, you know, they get saved, they were rapping, they they feel like they got to give up drugs, they got to give up uh, sex, they got to give up ev- everything, including music. They don't realize, like, you can come in into this and still keep your hip hop. And, and that's something a lot Definitely. of artists come in, and I've heard that same kind of testimony from a lot of different artists when they start doing it uh and they had to do the same thing they gave it up thinking like it was almost bad until they heard other artists and you're like whoa i can do this and do it for god and and, and keep on rocking with the music bro when i when i found out that i can still do music oh my goodness bro huh. that was a lifesaver for me <laughs> yeah i bet i bet so what's next for you man you talk about the project uh with god over money um, are you going to be going on tours with them at all? Uh, what, what's next for you? Oh, yeah. we man, Everything that's to be done, we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> he almost spilled some more juice. So we, 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 uh, <laughs> but now nah, we, um. The Truth yeah, Music we, Tour Part so we got, 3, we when, when, when to start? We, we work. I don't know. I don't know the dates. I don't know the dates exactly yet, but I, I we we've had talks about it. So, okay, well you're on um, it. You know, yeah. prayerfully that come through. All yeah, right. I got I got a couple <laughs> people that reached out to me for tours and stuff as well. Dope. Also, so um, we 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 just you know like I said we 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 just going with the flow. You know what I'm saying? See what what happens. What come out of? I feel you. We got a couple things in mind that we want to do, and you know outside of that, we just building building on top of those yeah. things. And, well, definitely, man. Yeah, if you see what happens when you come out here on the West Coast, man, make sure you hit up Vegas and uh and, and get in the studio with us. But uh, my man Kyle has a has a question for you, real quick. Hey, what's good, man? How are you? Okay. What's going on, Kyle? 
Hey, man, just uh, you mentioned the church um, and just being involved in the church. I just wanted to know for you personally, how important um, has discipleship been and growing as a believer? And also kind of a follow up to that. Do you have like any mentors you'd want to shout or people that have maybe poured into your life and, and helped you along the way? Definitely, definitely, Kyle. Um, discipleship is, I mean, you can't, you can't really, I mean, you you give your life to, to the Lord, like, you got to get a disciple, you got to have a discipleship, you know what I'm saying, because you, you gonna, you gonna be lost out here if you ain't got no discipleship. Yeah. I was like that when I first gave my life to Christ, because um, I, I come up, come up in the country, so like, you know, small country town, South Georgia, you know what I'm saying, the typical thing was just like you know say this prayer put your hands up say this prayer and you good like god got you god gonna take care of everything like you ain't never got to worry about nothing and then i i took i took that literal um but as soon as i left the church from giving my life to christ i'm back i'm back in the hood i'm back around the same people i'm back around my partners that's that's still on the same thing bro hit this blunt bro i got these pills bro you know what I'm saying? I, uh-huh. females still throwing themselves at me Nobody told me how to deal with that. So I'm thinking, like, God just going to take it all away. I'm thinking, like, God's going to take away all of my struggles, my addictions. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't happen like that. It wasn't until 2010 when I got in Orlando and I linked up with Nehemiah, um, Nehemiah Weaver, which is, I don't know if y'all familiar with him, but he he runs Kingdom Promotions out of Orlando. Um, There's a whole gang of tours and stuff. Like, it was only when I linked up with him that I saw, I saw what he was doing, and I, I seen a, a couple of teachings and stuff that he was doing, and I was just like, hey, I need that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm a Christian. I'm saved. I love God. But, like, you know what I'm saying? I got problems. got issues. Like, nobody is talking about my issues. Nobody's talking about the stuff that I'm dealing with, the stuff yeah. that I'm going through. So, like, how do, how do I deal with this? I, I go to the Reach concerts. I go to the 116 concerts. I'm amped up. I'm piped when I'm there. But then as soon as the music is over and I'm home, I don't have Lecrae there preaching to me. I don't have, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, how do, how do I deal with this stuff? And yeah. he was the first one that actually took me under his wing, man, and, and discipled me. We we went through uh, Calvinists, or many. We, we went through everything, like, from the gospel. We, it was dope, man. So definitely, discipleship is important, man, because if I ain't had discipleship, like, I wouldn't even be in yeah. this predicament right now. And I think that's good on both sides, be because I, I think as an artist, you need to or, or as, as a new Christian, you need to know that you need that discipleship because I think a lot of us get into it and it's like, okay, that magic pill is going to drop. I'm not going to struggle anymore with anything. But you don't realize when you come into Christianity, you come in with the same exact struggles. So you need to know how to deal with that. And people going out there just to say, quote unquote, save people and get the number of people saved instead of going out there to, to really disciple people. Like who cares about the number of people that raise their hands at the altar because if you're not discipling them, they're just going to be in their same old rut and fall right back into it if they don't know that that there's discipleship that's that's uh, necessarily needed, you know? Exactly. So that, that's good, man. Exactly. So then then we have to ask ourselves, did we really win anybody? Exactly. You know what I'm yeah. saying? If, if we win them over and we don't disciple them and they end up in the same world or just end up just, you know, backtracking and just going back like whatever, yeah. it's like then we have to question that we really win anybody, so... Yeah, Jesus said go out and make disciples, not go out and see how many people raise their hands at the altar, <laughs> and, yeah. and you get that little gold star for how many people you got saved. Yep. But uh, Man. definitely, I, I and it, it's funny. Like I, I, I hear pastors and stuff, and people just be like, "Oh, my goal is to win this amount of souls this year." And I, I don't know that kind of that kind of stuff. Just be like, uh nah. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, you see, you see, you see these people, and I'm not, I'm not down to nobody for, you know what I'm saying. Don't get me wrong or whatever, because I'm definitely not that type of dude. Yeah, not yeah. really taking no shots at people, but it's just like, you know, I've, I've seen that, and people just do the altar calls, and then you got these people, and there might be an outreach event to where you're dealing with people that don't come to church on the regular, but these people confess Christ as their Lord and Savior, and you ain't even connecting these people with no local body or no local church to. Yeah get them plugged in you on the road and you just you know and stuff like that bothers me as an artist i ain't gonna lie because you know you can't i can't i can't save people i can't you know quote unquote do this walk of life with everybody you know, i'm only be able to do that with people that i see on a day-to-day basis yeah. but i have a concern for those individuals you know who give a give their life to god at you know what i'm saying events and concerts and stuff yeah. like that and the artists just leave 
Yeah. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? You ain't plugging. You ain't even the, the church. The church who having the um event. You're not even make sure that you plug the people in with those people. Like it's just. It's crazy, bro. It's, it's bigger than music, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's definitely bigger than music. We see that music. a lot, man. Did you have a follow-up, Kyle? No, I just wanted to encourage you, man. Just uh, keep doing your thing and and just realize that that's something you should carry is is find those Timothys, find those people that you yeah. can pour into. And then also, as an artist, as you do engage on tour and doing shows, be different and be the one that says, you know what, we are going to get multiple churches or one big church or whatnot. And we're going to have those resources provided for the people after the music stops. And I think that's a good shout to like Lecrae's second album, man, is just what happens after the music stops. That's always encouraged me is what goes beyond. Is there a follow up, you know? Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. So definitely y'all keep me keep me living in prayer, man, on, on that tip that God can show me how, you know, to be different and how to uh, properly you know what I'm saying? Execute that 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 plan. Yeah, that's good, man. Man, shout out to God Over Money. Shout out to Bizzle and everyone there for, uh, you know, signing their new artists to jump off the new year, 2018. K Alico, before we let you go, man, I got five hot seat questions for you. You're in the hot seat right now, so you got to answer these quick, all right? These are all opinion questions. All right. These are all opinion questions, but you can get them wrong. So, uh, <laughs> all right, the be- all right. <laughs> best artist, Prince or Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson, hands down. You got that one right. All right. Best basketball team, <laughs> Cleveland Cavaliers or the Golden State Warriors? Golden State Warriors. All right. I'll give you that one. Uh, greatest basketball player of all time, LeBron <laughs> James or Michael Jordan? My, oh, man. See, I'm, I'm feeling a little disrespect there. Michael Jordan, see, yeah, y'all. You got that right. See, you it's take, not you disrespect. Take Prince and... <laughs> Nobody can compare to Michael Jordan. Nobody can compare to Michael Jackson. That's in my book. Okay, you like the MJs. <laughs> you like the MJs. Okay, who's gonna who, who, who's gonna win the national championship on Monday? Alabama or Georgia? Georgia, you got to know Georgia's gonna win. I All was right. just, it's crazy because I was just talking to Nehemiah before this conversation. We were having that conversation. He wants Georgia to win, but he feel like Alabama's gonna win. Like, bro, you crazy, bro. Georgia got this one, though. My bad. It's going to be tough. All right. Who is the dopest artist besides yourself on God Over Money? Who's the best artist on God Over Money? The whole squad. There man. you go. Yeah. <laughs> you, you almost answered it wrong, but you, you got them all right. You got them all right. Good job. Man. <laughs> Yo, great, great the conversation, squad, man. man. I, love, I love the team. Dope, man. Great conversation. And uh, we're going to send you a piece of this dude's licorice. That's the biggest licorice I've seen in my life. Hey, throw me one of those. I, I, I need to put that on camera. This dude, no, seriously, he has the biggest sticks of licorice I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god! Like, is it like one of the? Is it like the? Uh, I think I know. I think I, it's huge because I seen the big. They had a huge candy bar. They're and, huge, uh, man. Like I, Cracker I, Barrel. Cracker Barrel. It's a little restaurant around bro, here. They had a huge candy bar, yeah. crunches, sneakers, and all that. These are like filled with more licorice on the inside. <laughs> It's not even hollow licorice, and it's yellow and red. <laughs> Man, it looks like you could make a McDonald's logo. That's not crazy. <laughs> that's not crazy, right though. Hey, that's crazy. <laughs> but shout out, shout out to that licorice. Um. But yo, man, for sure, man. I, 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 I really do appreciate what you're doing, man, and uh, and we look forward to hearing more of your music and more of what you're gonna be doing with God Over Money, bro. Oh yeah, likewise. I appreciate y'all for having me on, Quan. Uh, no doubt, man. And we will be talking more in the future. That's Kay Alico right here, Gorilla Cross Speak Life Radio, GorillaCross.com. Talk to you soon, bro. Yes, sir. And now we're going to get into one of my favorite tracks from the end of 2017. This is my man, Young C, with God is Good. One of the hottest joints I've heard that a lot of people haven't even heard yet. This is God is Good, Young C, right here, Gorilla Cross Speak Life Radio, GorillaCross.com. <laughs> Tell Marcy to cut the lights. I want everything dark. Hold up. Every day, God is good. Got my way, God is good. Rush the way, all my sins. I'ma say, God is good. Every day, God is good. Every day, He's on time. Got my way, God is good. This is what it feel like when He renews your mind. Oh, why? 
My God is so good, feel like I should talk about it. Hold up, when they talked about his grace, I would doubt it though. He's the one I turned to when I was counted out. Told me prayer don't work, that's a valid though. It's a battle with the flesh, so I shout it out. Jesus, Jesus, yeah. Every time I want to let go, Jesus, Jesus, gave me guidance with my steps though. Jesus, Jesus, told me that the one to follow, you protect though. Jesus, Jesus, the label's trying to persuade me with the check though. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, they cannot defeat his purpose Let go earthly things Unworthy things To serve the king And no I'm not talking about Burger King Virgin Mary's or Eve I treat them all like queens Trying to get into heaven I show my faith not IDs Free from bondage Insecurities Holy Spirit please Refill me please Pray I don't go back to who I be Pray I don't go back to how I was I pray that I'm done with the old me I pray when they hate me Give them love You can't tell me God ain't good You can't tell me God won't do it You can't tell me God ain't real It's what I went through He brought me through it Every day, God is good. Found my way, God is good. Watch the way, all my sins. I must say, God is good. Every day, God is good. Every day, He's on time. Found my way, God is good. This is what it feels like when He renews your mind. God is good. 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 Every morning and I know times I don't think that's so important All them times I lost my way and he restored it Spinning in circles like water in the toilet I didn't afford it, you got me, you brought me back I can do all things through Christ, yeah you told me that You couldn't stop me them days I was fornicating I was in there with no glove like I'm Gary Payton Now I'm just levitating, yeah Battle with my flesh daily, yeah Crucify it, ain't no room to buy it I can't play with fire, devil is a liar And my God is so good, that to save me, yeah The doctor can do it, no. I can do it, no. I can do it, no. Hold up, wait, only one who could is the one that made me Hold up, let me do my dance Praise and worship, lift my hands Jeremiah 29, 11, these are God's plans Yeah, the modern day evangelist From the IE to Los Angeles I'm about to change the whole world Even one that wasn't fans in this Rolling water like I'm Peter I will never be defeated Seeking for his grace and mercy Till I'm in the kingdom Give me for the ones that I'm a straighter Back then I couldn't see it Now you put me in position That I gotta lead them Walking by my faith and never will I walk by what I'm seeing When I was down to give me I was in these women DMs But now I walked away for that And I proclaim my freedom Everything changed for me When I gave my life to Jesus Yeah, that's Young C with God is Good right here on Gorilla Cross Speak Life Radio. When we come back, we're going to talk to my man Kyle Lowry and Jamaica Jacobson, and then we're going to play some of your music live right here and critique it on the radio show. So stay locked in with us right now. This is KB Monster featured Aha Gazelle off Today We Live, one of the dopest albums of 2017. If you don't believe me or don't agree, you're lying. Let's take my first rodeo, uh. check my portfolio, uh. without the Holy Ghost I would be getting my commas a quote unquote, quote unquote, quote unquote, I am not so and so, might be the rapper that no one knows, but I got the click like a metro, no lit that's a metro, uh. new intellectual, yeah, I was the Oreo, I was the Oreo coming up, told him at least I'ma get my degree, then I'll be back on the scene and my cream will be double stuff, either that or when the color, Started boxing and toughen up. Then I met Jesus and seen that the strong don't survive. will sacrifice all for the other I one. I ain't got no records when we bragging on it. Under the blood, blood ain't no stacking on it. Shout out to Reach Records, they put the master on it. Every record got the master on it, but it's free freedom. Ain't no man can hold me. Man, it's Jesus, Jesus, till I'm out of knowing we indeed are living. La la vida, he is read demons in the city. And I am loyal, cause. Boy, I used to be a monster. I was tweaking, had my mama going bonkers. Yeah, you probably wouldn't believe it if it hadn't been for Jesus. I'd be still running around like I'm a gunster. Turn it uh. Queen ball. Uh, Bankroll, uh, fake dog. Uh, Honey ones wrapped up in a 
Franco. Running chips in that case, so make diamonds dance when I say so. Draco, slang dope. For the feds, act them like ankles. I carry different, my ain't no. My gang dope, you already know. I used to be a monster. I was tweaking, had my mama going bonkers. Yeah, you probably wouldn't believe it if it hadn't been for Jesus. I'd be still running around like I'm a gangster. Yeah, that is KB with Monster featuring Aha Gazelle right here, Gorilla Cross Speak Life Radio. I jumped in quick. The mics are on, Jamaica. No, I'm just, I'm so confused as to why Eminem is in the background. <laughs> like, I just, it, it threw me off. Oh, it's just the beats. I know, but it, it, it just, just threw me off. Beats. I wasn't expecting it. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> it's old school Eminem, though. It's a good one. It's not the bad, grumpy, angry 40 year old with the <laughs> fake beard. <laughs> It just threw me off. That's all. Nice. That's all. We went from KB to Eminem, and I just was M's thrown. still dope. So. It's just the background beats. If this was more than your second time on the radio, you know, you would know that. But wow. I know, but no, shout out you to know, Jamaica. I'll be, I'll be on here more. Don't worry. You will. I will. You're gonna, I'm inviting you, you, myself. You're gonna fly out here every week to be a co-host on my show. We're gonna, we're gonna discuss some, some new stuff that's going on with me. So we'll. Okay. You'll, you'll have that answer in a little bit. Okay, for sure. Uh, the last artist I played was KB featuring Aha Gazelle with Monster. Before that was Young C with God is Good. And we had that live conversation with K Alico. If you guys missed it, make sure you uh, watch the replay or tune into the podcast. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud. Our podcasts are all up there. Um, our whole last season is not up there. So one of these days, I'm going to have one of my interns that aren't here yet, that we don't have yet, uh, upload all of those. But for now, we're going to start back with this new season and and get them up to date uh, from there. And I'm excited about that. But right now we're going to get into a quick little freestyle session. I got my man Kalo in the building. So I'm going to let Jamaica move because Kyle brought a friend and I keep calling him Kalo and that has to change. So what's up with the name change? Is that something you're you're talking about right now or what? Yeah, I can just give you the snippet real quick. Okay, give me a snippet. Um, Yeah, so it's been brought to my attention that there are couple other Kalo 16 out there Kalo's out there um and some of their music just doesn't represent like what I'm trying to represent it's been confusing for some people like I had one of my best friends hit me up and he's like bro what's up with this song this song and this song and I'm like we're <laughs> friends and how did you not know that so it was just confusing as that's far as, not me <laughs> that's not me and I had even had a pastor reach out and he was like bro my youth group kids and this song yeah that's and so I'm like all right and then uh, signing to Lion Bold Records in 2018 is a, is in the plans, and so we want to launch and do a new direction with a new name. Uh, so Kyle Lowry is what I've been given uh, from my parents, so I'm going to roll with that. Okay. So. so at Kyle Lowry Music yep. is a new tag, because I try to find Kalo, and I'm like, yeah. what's going on here? <laughs> what's happening? Where's Klo? Where's Klo? That's another reason. You know, yeah, it looked like Klo. J-Lo, Kalo, like Klo. <laughs> They're like, Klo Music. I'm like, no. Klo Music. J-Lo music, all Don't that. Introduce us to your boy right now. Uh, this is my boy Taylor Larson, a.k.a. Intellect. What's good, guys? A.k.a. Licorice Man. Yep. Oh, yeah. Intellect. So uh, are you local in Vegas? Yes, sir. Dope. So we're going to get into the freestyle session, or you got some riddens? I got some riddens. Okay. Off the top. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the last time you come in and spit riddens, but we'll let you I today because you. you didn't know. Uh, I got you. You're new in here. But, uh... Yo, you gonna spit acapella ridden or or you want some beats? He would like some beats. I mean, cause you Either got riddens. I don't know if you know. It depends on what kind of beats. I got beats. That's true. But they're kind of old school, or people say they're old school, but Can they're a lot better than what you Taylor? hear. Yeah. Okay. Like, Dope. Okay. I'm, a, I'm gonna find something. Uh oh. Might be too fast though. It might be too slow for you. He's the fast rapper. I'm the slow rapper. So. Yo, yo freestyle okay 2018 
It's Jamaica Jacobson in the building. My boy Taylor, Quan59. Let's get it. I was like, yo, Jacobson, what's up, yo? Yeah, we back again. We up in here. Quan59 behind the boards. Y'all already know how we do it for, man four door cruising down the road i was like man i am late for my show man taylor we got to go get up on the stage eat the beat alive in a lyrical rage yo check the haze man i got the vision i be going down the road man i'm on a mission gotta stay fishing up in the ocean man i got the potion again i got the motion lion bold that is what i am told you already know we do this man i am gold it's a freestyle off the top of the dome i'm gonna pass the microphone leave it alone hey Mm. All right, hold up. Mm. Mm. Shout out uh, Unashaped to put in work. See, and by the way, I came in, this became an invasion. Why's everybody hate Chris and always loving Raymond? My mind is always vacant, taking off in a spaceship, living out in Vegas, shaping the bar to raise it. Listen to the flow, dog, showing up to show off. Grown into a time bomb, and it's right before I go off. Gone for so long, my idea is now a postcard. Flow became so cold, my nose is slowly went and froze off. Now I gotta dig deep, reaching to my inner soul, telling that it increase. Something like a centerfold, they told me I was stupid, assuming I couldn't do it. I showed them that it depends on the way you choose to pursue it. But the way I'm killing beats, they said that it's not fair Splitting ends on my life, how you think I got hair? Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name People always blaming God but never want to make a change Better back away, I can tell when you're acting fake Are you mad at the fact I changed or the fact that you stayed the same? My words are in inferno, sure to burn your internal In this pen state of mind, I kind of feel like Joe Paterno Woo! Okay Okay Kalo with the freestyle My man Intellect over Yo. here Yo Jamaica's gonna freestyle soon. <laughs> I'm making jewelry. I'm making jewelry. No more Tom I got beads. I got bleeds. Yeah. I got reads. <laughs> Read my book. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> I, made, I made you miss the drop. Yeah, that's all right. Uh. Okay. Like, shut up, Quan. Yo, I was thirsty. Came through with a water bottle. Now I'm in the car hitting full throttle. Hey, y'all, look at my wifey. She a model. Yeah, check it out now, yo, bring it back One time for the rhyme Kick it one time, one time for the rhyme Committing crime right here on the track Cause I'm killing it like NF said, never whack Yo, bring it back with Taylor gang Yo, this kid is tailor made Yo, I'm talking about grand design Y'all already know, check it one time Yo, we got the windbreaker Y'all already know we do this, Undertaker Killing these beats, man, I'm kinda like NF But it's alright, man, I am so blessed I got the people in the back Y'all already know we do this, man, on the track Ay, going through a storm, but it's alright I'm in the darkness, shedding the light Y'all already know we do this for Christ Every single day and night I'm falling off, but that's alright I'm gonna pass it back to Taylor, spit it written Y'all already know we got the vision See the way I'm living is a give it in a vision Sticking with conviction in the way it's represented Fall so hard that I had to learn to pivot Fall so far I accidentally hit a pigeon Proceed to observe what I seen and I heard I've been racing for so long that I lean with the turns In a bit of a pickle like what's the deal Then the ceiling begins to trickle as a rush to feel So caught in the middle of a thought That I'll hit you with it all just to show you what I brought all we ever get to see is the thing we face You can't see the bigger picture when you're in the frame Survival of the fittest, all about my business My all is what I'm giving till I'm gone and existence. Switch up my flow like the weather do While you try to remember everything I said to you I'm a disciple like Matthew and Paul Got wear suspenders cause he's overall Listen to the bass drum, look at where I came from Hope's all gone till you find a way to make some Every other rapper got the same approach Learn to play the game and I became a coach Try to weather the storm as I made a boat And I grab whatever I can just to stay afloat Can't ignore the shape, I know it was born to take On the first 48, I'll say that I'm Norman Bates Always been a fighter, watch me punch it in the gear If yo, you ever see me tired, then yo, it's been a good year Yo, pass it back, yo, give me the mic Y'all already know I'm kinda thirsty, so give me a Sprite It's alright, I'm in the darkness, so give me a light Y'all already know we get, get, keep going tonight Hey, check it out, I'm in my zone, I don't leave them alone Y'all already know I keep it going, I got some broken bones Yo, but God is a healer. He be giving me the vision, man. God's the revealer. Yo, revelation. Back to Genesis. Yo, people out there sleeping with the nemesis. Talking about the serpent. Man, for certain. I'm repping Christ till my final curtain. I'm in a blizzard, spitting so cold. You already know I'm young, but I'm feeling so old. That's it, my friend. I got the wisdom. Check this out, man. Got the vision. I keep going back to that line. I'm going to stop it. It's all right. Taylor's got the written. He's going to rock it. You already know. Every time that we bounce, 
Yo, let's keep it going to now. The thoughts I convey are results of the pain that was caused on the way to evolve and would change doing all that it takes just to fall in the place. If I called it a day, then I'm walking away. We all are the same. It's hard to explain. So involved in today that it's all that remains. As I fall to my face, I saw what it takes. Every wall we create is watched from the stage. Well, I'm been afraid, but I fought for the change till I'm lost in the pain. Awkward and strange like a hall of the great. Been offered some things to resolve all the pain, but that's all it became. Off in the days and then I fell into depression. This is my confession. What else would be expected when I'm standing at the exit pointing out every subject? I don't really know what I'll be killing. <laughs> <laughs> let's get another yeah. beat. Let's keep going. Let's get another beat. One more. One more. One more. <laughs> Jamaica's Dang, like, we're done. Like, we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> 30 more seconds. We'll be young if you spit 30 15. seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> she wants to critique this music. That's why. It's like you might see back. <laughs> Go ahead, Taylor. All right. Uh. Church bells ringing. Uh. Uh. Get to uh. church. <laughs> Before you flip the script, learn your role to play your part. Just because you went to school doesn't mean it made you smart. Proceed with this bleeding heart as the being that's taking charge. Looking on the bright side, even from the dark. Do this for the art of it. Look at what we started with. Came from almost nothing with no money over a starter kit. Even with the college wit, something surely got a give. Talking about practice, but that's all it ever really is. I walk with a limp, I talk with a lisp. But through every little flaw, look for all that I am. Surrounded by a fire, spitting flames like a dragon. Young Lord in the ring, like a Bilbo Baggins. The range is to be with the ways of a fiend. So when it comes to advice, love is taken from me. It's plain as can be. I was made to achieve till I'm taking the lead or yeah. I'm breaking my feet. Yo, forged by the fire. You know that I'm rocking now like I'm Steven Tyler. Yo, walk this way, man. I got a dream on. You already know that we got the seams on. Yeah, check this out, man. It's my season. I'll be spitting for Christ, man. That's the reason. Every time that I write, every time that they clap, I be waking up now from my sleep. No naps. Yo. I was sleepwalking, sleep talking, but now I'm out here just rocking. Doing my thing at Quan 59. You already know we do this like every time. Sit at the table and I'm willing and able. Killing the beat like it's Kane and Abel. Hey, yo, I said that once, I'll say it again. You already know I represent him with the pen. Mm. Yeah, give it up, Kyle Lowry. My man, Intellect, uh, shout out your social media links real quick so so these cats can find you because uh, they like you, man. They like you on social media. They're going crazy. Yeah. Uh, All right, go ahead. Can, I hyped it up me. a little more. <laughs> you can follow me at uh, SoundCloud Intellect 702 um, on Facebook, Intellect 702. Uh, I'm going to start uploading stuff to uh, YouTube soon, so just be on the lookout for it. Dope. Everything is at Instagram, so go to uh, Kyle Lowry Music, and uh, Lowry is L O W E R Y. And he does not play for the Raptors. I don't. He doesn't play for the Raptors, but uh, man, shout out! You guys are dope. Uh, Kalo's gonna stay on and critique some music with us. Jamaica's gonna get her seat back. Intellect's gonna get his licorice back. And uh, <laughs> man, thanks for coming through, man. That was dope for real. Hey, thanks for having me, bro. Uh-oh. 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 Breaking stuff. Thank you. All right. So we're going to jump into another song. This is Kyle Lowry right here with Heartbeat. When we come back, we are going to critique your music right here, right now. Gorilla Cross, Speak Life Radio, New Music Friday. We make it to this place, the answer isn't clear. Yeah. When you're questioning your faith, the answer isn't fear. Yeah. Voices telling me to quit, I hear them in my ear. Yeah. The only opposition I can see is in the mirror. There were times in my life where we grew apart. Yeah. But your supernova light cut through the dark. Uh, Both your hands reaching out to renew my heart. Uh, your grace is enough, God, you always do your part. Yes. Yeah. I'm living to give it another try Wasting my time embracing the lie Trying to be that other guy That is not me, he's a copy of a man that's dead In the grave now, gone away now When I'm free instead but All this time I thought I tried to understand 
But to understand means reaching out with broken hands To feel a heartbeat ah. said this was a hit the moment that she heard it yeah. i could picture stadiums of people singing worship uh, touching lives of millions deep beneath the surface man. he bought my life at a price when my soul was purchased Ooh. reminiscing on the days when i walked away uh, just a sheep without a shepherd i had gone astray uh, prodigal son hoping for a brighter day he opened up my eyes finally i could find my way yeah I'm living to give it another try Wasting my time, embracing the lie Trying to be that other guy That is not me, he's a copy of a man that's dead In the grave now, gonna wait now when I'm free instead Yeah, you gave your life to restart me Brought me to a place where I can feel my heart beat try to understand but to understand means reaching out with broken hands to feel a heartbeat ah. yeah to hit the moment that she heard it yeah that's Kyle Lowry with heartbeat right here gorilla cross speak live radio gorillacross.com and dope track right there bro thanks man appreciate it no doubt who's that singing on it uh it's my boy Ryan uh he's been my producer for the last 4 or 5 years so okay dope where'd you record that um i recorded that here in vegas not then... my studio <laughs> and then why uh, why are you paying other shade. people bro no man why are you paying, paying other people ryan and i actually have something worked out where i'm gonna be recording for free from now on so that's dope um out <sighs> there out there in san diego so okay I'll be, cool i'll be out there so it's not really free because you got to fly out there i mean but i get to see my boy and kicking in no, san that's, diego that's tight dude san diego and from near san diego jamaica's in the <laughs> building she's gonna critique some music with us yes, and, yes. and might be on the radio show a lot more with us so uh what's up uh, I haven't seen you in a long time. I know. It, man, it's literally been years because I didn't live here for a long time. I lived across country, so I yeah. wasn't, I was not out here. So I'm trying to think the last time I saw you was. I don't even know. It's been years, man. Not years. You don't think so? Maybe a year. I don't even think a that year. long. I don't know, but Let's it see. feels like it's been. Oh, you know what? The last, the last time studio. I saw you was September when uh, Rodney was out here. Um. Black Knight and uh, yes. Swift. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That Rodney. I'm like, what's his what's his fake name? <laughs> Swift. Yeah, R. Swift and uh and, and, and Black Knight. I think that's the last time I saw you, because we didn't do a lot of traveling last year at all yeah. ourselves. Like we weren't, you know, at shows anymore in California. Right. I mean, and the I scenes kind of died out anyways. Like it's, it, it's not the same, but no, we, we weren't traveling like yeah, that. Yeah, it's definitely not the same. And I wasn't really, I wasn't really traveling last year either. Yeah. So even though Vegas was, you know, only I think I came out here like I don't know, like last October, November. Yeah. For a show. And um, but yeah. So but it's good to be back, man. Like the studio looks beautiful and Thanks. it yeah. Y'all y'all look y'all look pretty spiffy, so we hooked it up. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good, it looks good. Now I've just gotta pay for all this stuff. Hey man. Goals. Lyft, Uber. Twenty eighteen goals. <laughs> pay for everything. For real. Pay for everything. But that's a good thing about having a business license now. You just buy a whole bunch of stuff before the end of the year for a write-off. Yes, man. Like, I don't want to pay taxes. I want to buy stuff. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, shout out to, to 
taxes and yes. IRS season. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and and not paying. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna critique your music. Uh, real quick, tell us what you do for those that don't know who Jamaica Jacobson is, and your website and your social media. Um. So yeah. So my name is Jamaica Jacobson, as well as my company name. Hey. Um. <laughs> She's just, a tax write-off. You know. Hey, I try to be. <laughs> um. But I'm a jewelry designer. Um. I've been a jewelry designer for about nine years, and full time for the past four, going on five years. So, Dope. Yeah, man. Um. I just I I've always done a lot of stuff with the CHH scene. That's kind of where I started out as yeah. a vendor. Um, and I, I have a lot of friends who are artists and musicians and stuff. And so I love, I love being a part of hip hop as a culture. And, um, that's kind of where my jewelry has been for the past, for the past four to five years. So that's, yeah, that's me. Um, and you've um, done a lot of custom stuff for a lot of artists too. Yeah. Yeah. Who were some of the artists? Man, so <laughs> I've done a lot of custom pieces and a lot of wholesale pieces for them too. So yeah. um there's there's definitely a chance that some of you guys have owned some of the people who are listening have owned pieces that I've made before. Um I did uh, Mad Haven for Canon, his his jewelry pieces. Um more recent and I've done B Coopers. Um I've worked with everybody on RMG except for Derek Miner. So um Diraj, he just, you know, he dropped his project, Goodish, and uh, dope project, by the way. Super dope project, man. I think it's super slept on too. Um, I think maybe the pink album cover threw some people off. I think so too, but you know what? Like, it threw me off at first until I heard them. Like, okay, it doesn't. Yeah. The, the music didn't look like the album cover. <laughs> no, it didn't. Or it didn't sound like the album. But cover you know what though? Like one thing that I love about Diraj, to get off topic for a split second, is that he is so creative. Yeah, he's super creative. That like it doesn't. I mean, he just like creatively. I was like, I was already intrigued. Like, I saw the album cover, and I'm like, okay, it's purposeful. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. a reason. Let me see. Let me see what he's gonna bring to the table. Yep. Um, and so I was able to make uh, some custom necklaces for him and some custom bracelets. Uh, so if you go on his Instagram page, that's Dope. on there too. Um, man, I'm trying to think. I'm like, I'm trying to think of other people that I've done stuff for. Angie. Like, uh, yes, thank you. I've done yeah custom pieces for and or wholesale pieces for Angie Rose. Yeah. Um, man. I knew you were going to ask me jewelry questions, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what else would I biggest, ask you? <laughs> I know, right? Like, what else? That's all. That's all I do. Um, you can be ask me about my rap career. I know. Look, man, I'm slept on. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah. So no, I just um, I just make jewelry for artists. Like, I, I just I love making jewelry. I love you know creating things and creating wholesale pieces for other people. So I'm sure I'll I'm sure I'll think about like later on like who I've yeah. actually worked with more. Um. But yeah, and then oh, social media yeah, stuff. Yeah, where, where can they find you? Yeah, social media is at Jamaica Jacobson. Um, Jamaica is spelled just like the country, and then Jacobson is S O N at oh. the end. So my website JamaicaJacobson.com. I try to keep it simple um, so that people can find me, just because you know having all sorts of crazy handles for every single type yeah. of social media is just not the business. So I try to streamline it. Um, and I'm excited, man. I got I got a whole bunch of good stuff coming up this oh. year. So I'm just yeah. Might need some custom Gorilla Cross pieces. I'm you saying, feel me? Absolutely. Absolutely. Dope. Dope. Well, now I hope your favorite show is like American Idol and The Voice <laughs> and all that because we're about to get into our segment just like that right now <laughs> called the Indie Artist Music Review. Yes. And uh, we're going to be reviewing your music live on the air. I don't know if I have a drop for that. <laughs> no, that, that, <laughs> wasn't it. that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Catch me outside. How about that? Some of you might be saying that. Yes. Some of you might be saying that. Um, and Yo, you tuned in to Gorilla Cross Radio. It's just a radio drop. That was the wrong one. <laughs> Stay in your lane. That one. Mm. We might say that to some of you guys. We might not. We're not going to be too harsh. What we do like to do, though, for real, is critique in a way that, you know, if, you, if you're trying to get your music played on the radio, we're going to let you know what you need to do uh, to change it up, to fix it, to maybe record it better. Um, we're not going to tell you to quit rapping. <laughs> maybe. I don't. I can't. I, I don't. And, and you listen, might hear that from listen, me. Listen, I think everybody that started rapping their first rap was horrible <laughs> back in the day. Fact. So you, you have to start from somewhere, so I understand that. Um, but if you're submitting to radio, that's what we're looking for right now. Like, who is going to be able to get in rotation on our 24-hour station? Who's going to be able to get a song on New Music Friday in a regular rotation? That's what we're looking for. So we're going to critique you in the way of getting your music on the radio, not just to be jerks. Um, we're going to give constructive criticism. If it's not dope, we're going to let you know it's not dope. We don't want to hype you up 
and just tell you your stuff is dope and let you go out there and and share it for the world and everyone's saying it's whack when they're like man the radio told me it was dope how come they lied you know we want you to get better that's really the goal behind the indie artist music submission um you know to, to help you get better because we weren't always great we're still not great there's a lot we're learning with radio and different things like that as well so uh we all have room to learn and time to learn so i'm gonna get into this first song this is adam young and we not we might not play the whole song of all these songs we'll just go through like the first verse and hook uh, to get through more songs, but we'll probably do like five or six uh, before we bounce out of here. But this is my man Adam Young with Brighter Day right here, Gorilla Cross Speak Live Radio. And we're keeping the cameras on because facial expressions sometimes <laughs> give it all away. I was just about to ask you that, sir. I'm so glad you said yep. that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As I preach, Adam Young. Adam Young. Adam Young. Adam Young. Adam Young. I'm just searching for a body day. Yeah, 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 I'ma keep on praying till the light of day. Yeah, ain't no other way, ain't no other way. Yeah, yeah, I put yeah, my faith in God cause he gon' make a way. Yeah, I'm just searching for a body day. day. I'ma keep on praying till the light of day. Light of day. Ain't no other way, yeah, ain't no other way. Yeah, yeah, I put my faith yeah, in God preach. cause he gon' make a Look way. There is no other way. If they ain't ill, there's no way out. I speak the truth and run away. You can tell I got saved now. And they still throwing rocks at us. Phone ringing, God calling us. One on one, I like to chop it up. On the block, they see me popping up. Talking all about the gospel, bruh. You can see I got peace now. And I ain't talking about a chopper, bruh. You gon' see what we about. Spitting flames, got the Bible open. Headshots like a sniper scoping. Catch a body, no rifle on me. Play no games, no time for joking. Out of Dallas like cowboys. You don't wanna hear that lion roar. Face strong like some alloy. Great commission, what I sign for. In the Lord, if I find rest. Rip me low to my stress. In the world, gotta flex. Where's my sword? I got next. The Lord will take away your pain. Be like me and get fired up. You could be saved today. If you fall, just get right up. Spirit locked in like Wi Fi. Go to heaven, you can sign up. And I ain't talking about a drive by, but watch your body get light up. I'm just searching for a brighter day. I'ma keep on praying till the light of day. Ain't no other way, ain't no other way. I put my faith in God cause he gon' make a way. I'm just searching for a brighter day. I'ma keep on praying till the light of day. Ain't no other way, ain't no other way. I put my faith in God cause he gon' make a way. Yeah, that's track one, Brighter Day from Adam Young. And I'm going to start with Jamaica since she's uh, new on the show. <laughs> what would th- you think of the song, the delivery, the beat, the whole content in general, the mix down? So I usually, like, do n- – I'm from, I'm from California. So anytime I hear any type of music that sounds like it could be from the South or, like, trap music or anything like that, like, my ears usually close. Yeah. Like, almost instantly. Um, which is unfortunate for a lot of people right now, but, <laughs> but that's uh, your preferred, right, you know, right. And there's, and there's a huge difference between yeah. preference versus like, it actually sounds good sonically. Yeah. Um, so I would say like, I really actually like the beat. Like I could imagine it, like I could imagine it in my car, like just, you know, yeah, all that. Um, I liked how it sounded like it had a lot of layers to it. Like I, I love the ad libs. Um, there were certain parts of the song that sounded a little bit like his voice was a little flat. Yeah. Um, but overall, like it was a lot better than I anticipated it was gonna be. So Okay. I would I would rock it. I would I would play it in the car. Dope. Kyle Lowry. Um, I will second that. I would rock it. Um I really dig the beat, the hook, um, I was feeling as well. It was simple, but it was it was well written in my mind and um thought it was catchy and it, it came back around and everything, so that was dope. Um, maybe the, the one critique I would give, uh, lyrically, like content wise, I'm not a big fan of like the whole, um, just in my personal music and things that I've written, I, I really try to show and not tell. Um, and so I think that's just a good creative, like advice you can be given is like show, don't tell, don't say like, you know, for instance, you mentioned like, um, now I got the gospel, uh, now I got peace. That was dope. But also maybe expound on that. Show us what peace looks like in everyday life. Like maybe explain that further content-wise. Um, 
I don't know if that was what you're going for, um, but that was just my preference. So, man, he, he you watch the voice, don't you? <laughs> he was good at that. I can't even give a critique after that. <laughs> but uh, no, I thought it was a cool song, man. Uh, I think I, I didn't. I wasn't in love with the ad libs. The ad libs were like too on point, if that makes sense. Like they were too direct with what he was saying. He was just repeating that. I don't love ad libs like that. Um, the flow could have been a little bit tighter. Same thing with his voice. Like I don't, it, the energy wasn't really there with his voice as much as I would like it to be on that beat. Um, but Adam Young as a person is just not a good guy. So I'm joking. That, that's my dude. <laughs> Dang. That's my dude. Shout out to Adam Young. Uh, not, that's is a good he, track. Is that's he a good local? Track. Is he a local? No, nah, he's not local. Okay. We don't play locals. Oh. Okay. I'm joking. We we do if they're dope. I don't I don't know the criteria for the show. So. No, nah, we play we play everybody. Um, but no, Adam, I'm not sure. I can't remember where he's from, but we'll look it up. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get into the next track. Uh, big shout out to Adam Young uh, sending us that track. We're going to get up to my man. Jordan Rivers It's called Interlude Freestyle. So it's probably an interlude and a freestyle uh, right here. Gorilla Cross, Speak Live Radio, New Music Friday, Indie Artist Review. Here we go. I swear that I wanted it. Concrete jungle, no scholarship. Known to break ankles, still ball a bit. You doubting it, what are you calling it? Ay? I don't need negative energy around me. You can't dismount me, ay. If this ain't for you, you can leave right where you found me, right where you found me, ayy. Born from the underground, still on the comer. Working all night in the line to the sun, up. There ain't no time for no slumber. I got the hunger, it's more than the numbers, ayy. Gotta give it now, y'all never get it back. I ain't really caring if the money never stack. Praying if I fall that you always call me slack. I need to retrace my steps in my path. Where did I go wrong? I've been feeling so strong for so long. But the more that I prolong, it further the problem. Man, I'm too busy to solve them. Put independent, a page to dissolve them. I need an event. Raise in the bar, then I'm leaving a dent. Hard on my sleeve, I don't need to pretend. Guess we'll see in the end. Yeah. Yeah, that's Jordan Rivers. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, freestyle. <laughs> All right. I'm raising the bar and I'm leaving a dent. Hey, we'll start with Kyle. Yeah, I think you accomplished everything you set out to do on that track. Uh, your vocal tone, I'm a huge fan of that. Um, I really like your your flow and your delivery and just the sound of your voice is tight. Um, and yeah, you mixed up your, your style too. Like rhyme scheme and stuff was super dope as well. Um, it wasn't like predictable and everything, which was which was refreshing. So Jamaica with a big smile. Man, so look, I have like the worst memory ever. Like, I can listen to a song and, like, not really afterwards know what it was. And so for me to, like, em- no, real talk. No, I feel so, you. I'm the same way. Yeah, yeah. So for me to, like, remember that you said a lyric, like, that, that's, a, like, that's super dope. It like the dent. Yeah, yeah, it did. Absolutely. Um, But no, you know what? I loved, I loved the beginning of the song. Like, I was almost, I was almost, like, you caught me from the very beginning. Um. So- and that doesn't that doesn't happen very often. So and I was man, like I was I was curious too. Like the beginning of the song made me I was like, okay, where's he gonna go with this? Yeah. Like is he gonna do like a heavy drop or like wh- where are we going? So it was like it was a fun journey from the very beginning. Yeah. And then lyrically, yeah. like I yeah, so, like his voice was amazing to listen to. Um, my only small critique was that with so many artists, I know sometimes, especially if you have favorite artists it's really easy to start to sound like them. And yep. so I've heard other artists um, sound a little bit similar. So I would say, like, not necessarily that you need to change your voice, but be conscious of not wanting to sound like somebody, being true to yourself and simultaneously yep. sounding like your your voice and nobody else's. So. Yeah, that's good. Um, he, sends, he sends music almost every every month that we do this. So nice. uh, big shout out to Jordan Rivers. Nice. Um, nope. And he does he gets better every time. I mean, he, he really makes dope music. Uh, my, my only critique or my one like positive on that was like it's an interlude. And that's mm-hmm. what you want to interlude in the freestyle to do. Like if it's a quick one and a half minute song, yeah. you want to catch the, the listener right away yeah. and they want more after they hear that. Like, you know, I'm I'm gonna go back. I'm, I hope he I hope he's listening. <laughs> I'm gonna go if back. He's not. He will be. Okay, I mean, he'll, cool. He'll listen to the replay. Yeah, I want to go on all his social media stuff and find out everything about him right now. 
Dope. Wow. Like, dope. on yeah. it, like, for real. Yeah, he's, and he's it, a dope artist. Yeah, and I don't, I know that, like, a lot of people on here don't know me in life, but. Everyone knows Jama- Jamaica. No, no, but I mean, like, but really, though, like, I'm a really hard critique person. Yeah. Like, I don't give compliments easily. Like, it's very, it's, yeah, I don't, I don't give compliments like that. So, um, unless I really like you. Yeah. And I really, I really enjoyed that. Me too. Uh, so shout out to Jordan. The one critique I do have, I'm not sure what kind of mic you use or where you record. It sounded a little uh, muffly, I guess, on the mic. But that's me as an engineer <laughs> listening way too deep to stuff. Uh, but but yeah, man, shout out to him. And uh, we're going to get into another song. This is my man, uh, Brandon Stovall, called Make It Rain. See, Jamaica already laughed at the, <laughs> I at the name. I can't. I, uh, hey, yo, it, might, already, it like, might be bad. It might I'm be good. I'm super visual, man. Like, I just already have visuals in my head. I hope it's dope. Well, you're in Vegas now, so <laughs> you're in the right place for those visuals. In Jesus' name. One beat maker, the hit maker. The hit maker. The hit maker. The hit maker. I do this for Messiah. Yeah, I do this for my king. I do this for the heavens because I want to hear him sing. And if you hear me, Father, then send your holy reign to God. Be the glory because I give him all the praise. I do this for Messiah. Yeah, I do this for my king. I do this for the heavens because I want to hear him sing. And if you hear me, Father, then send your holy reign to God. Be the glory because I give him all the praise. Dear Heavenly Father, hey, I know you hear me now. Come and fill me with your spirit and please pour it out. Now touch me with your healing. Confirm it with a shout. I lay this life down. I can't see no other route. We never back. Backing down, boldly casting demons out. I'm going for my crown, that's what we scream about. No longer stain, yeah, it came and cleaned me out. And you can see it in my eyes, that's what they gleam about. No longer trapped and cry, Christ is what we sing about. And you can keep the money, what the world be pushing out. Hey, I'ma keep the scripture and pray when I'm in doubt. I'm looking towards the heavens, cause it's God who guides my route. He sent me to this generation to bring the captives out. I'm tearing down strongholds, I'm taking trashes out. He healed my heart. No longer crashing out, and I'ma love you anyways, you can flash it out. I do this for Messiah, yeah, I do this for my king. I do this for the heavens, cause I wanna hear him sing. And if you hear me, Father, then send your holy reign to God. Be the glory, cause I give him all the praise. I do this for Messiah, yeah, I do this for my king. I do this for the heavens, cause I wanna hear him sing. And if you hear me, Father, then send your holy reign to God. Be the glory, cause I give him all the praise. Look into these eyes and you'll see change me. A servant of their most high, that on the same team. Save and sanctified now. Yeah, that's Brian Stovall, Make It Rain, right here, Gorilla Cross. We're doing the indie artist music review right here on Gorilla Cross Radio. Um, I'll go ahead and give my critique first. It's it, it's something that all new Christian artists do. Um, they try to go too hard a little bit, like lyrically, with their delivery. Um he sounds like a new artist. I hope he is, um, because I know we've heard feelings on here before uh, saying a new artist, and he was rapping for 18 years. Mm-hmm. Um, but the content is good as far as like what he's talking about. I think you could be more creative with how you say it um, and your delivery on it. Uh, it it's very stereotypical um, new Christian rapper type music. Um, but like I said, the the the, the message is is good. Mm-hmm. Now you need to know how as a creative, as an artist, to have a creative way to express what you're saying. And you don't have to go so hard on on, on the beat with your lyrics and all that. That's me. Go ahead, Jamaica. Um, I would say I, w- I would agree um, to every point. I would also say it sounds a little outdated. Um, mm-hmm. That kind of like I remember like back when like the truth and JR and Flame would perform and tour like way back in the day. Yeah. Like nine, like probably like eight or nine years ago. Um, and that's the kind of music that I heard from them. And so it kind of like, it gives me a nostalgia feeling for that. And I don't think that, I don't know if that was the goal. I, I don't think it would be the goal. Yeah. Um, So I would say, yeah, it's a little outdated. Um, And also too, like when, when you're thinking about music and you're thinking about being creative, I think it's really important to know who your target audience is. And so if your target audience is going to be somebody who's like, if, th- if this is strictly for people who are like really in church like that and you're performing at churches, then this song is going to go hard and they're going to appreciate it. Yeah. However, if you are trying to be on a radio, like 
and not even necessarily like just Gorilla Cross, which is you know a Christian like radio station, but you're trying to be out there like for real on a, on regular platforms, and you know trying to reach people who don't know Jesus. I know for a lot of people like that music, that kind of music, in that way that it was delivered is going to throw them off and it's going to turn them off, as opposed to winning them to what you're saying. Um, I like. How mean? I don't. Uh, can I? Keep, how mean can I be? Quan? How mean can I be? Quan? I don't know. I, this is 2018. Okay. This is a nicer, gentler Quan. So it is because I'm like I'm 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 like waiting. I feel like I need permission to be a little bit more. You can this, say whatever this, you want. Okay, I would have turned it off within the first two seconds All if right. it was up to me. Like it just it didn't do anything for me. It didn't win me over. It didn't. It yeah. No. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. Kyle, get him. Um, <laughs> so. My thing is I can relate um, to what Quan and, and what Jamaica were saying as far as like coming out as a new Christian artist. That is a very typical approach uh, that we see in a lot of Christian hip hop artists, um, myself included. When I first came out, my whole first album, I had a guy from who wasn't a churchgoer come up to me. And he said, bro, your stuff is so preachy and it's so in your face and it's so like not relatable and it's not palatable. Uh, for the masses and so um, now you don't want to compromise and water down your message and all that you got to find that balance and that's really between you and God and like your growth as an artist but I really like what Jamaica said is like your creativity is what's going to shine through and so my boy Daniel told me when he, I did my first song ever it was called Amazing Grace and it was just you know punchlines about the Bible and stuff and scripture and all this and it just what there wasn't a lot of creativity it was just kind of reporting you know and he told me, he said, bro, like our God is so much bigger than just that, that, you know what I mean? Like he's so much, there's so many things that he's doing in people's lives. There's so many other things that you could explore and talk about and paint pictures. That's what I would leave you with is just paint pictures yeah. with your words. Don't like just say things again. Like I said, in my first critique, show them, yeah. find creative ways to show people what God's doing. Like if you're going to do a testimony about how great God is, like, don't just say God is great. God is great. God is great. Be like, yo, the homie was addicted to X, Y, and Z and was delivered over the course of seven months, this and that. And this is what he went through and just paint that, that's why, that yeah. story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give the why and everything. So that would be my critique. Can I, can I say one more thing? You sure can. Okay. I would change the title of the song. Yeah. So like if, <laughs> if you're, if you're the person who, who did this song, if you're listening and like, you totally think that everything we say is completely wrong and we're whack and like you're keeping the song and you're gonna and you're not gonna change anything i would really recommend to change the title yeah like if you if you like everything about it because like honestly bro like the first thing i heard make it rain i promised you a whole stack of dollar bills in my hand like <laughs> bah, 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 like for real like that's what that's what i that's what i heard yeah. that's what yeah. i thought that's what i thought and so um you know you want to paint you want to paint a picture for somebody before they even hear it yeah. so that they're you know yeah, so that's mine. Cool. So we're going to get into the next <laughs> song. It's by my man, Curtis <laughs> Lamar. Um, is it featuring 1K Few? That's what it looks like. Nice. It's called Mobbing. Right here, Gorilla Cross, Speak Live Radio, Indie Artist Music Review. Curtis Lamar. Here we go. I like the place up with the crew. We go one, we go win, we go zoo. And all of these fakers are proof. They say that I'm driven to groove. They know what I'm speaking is true. So we're going to be shining for help. Got these four blocks and we shining together. Church. About 50 deep on that road, me, cause we mobbing. We mobbing. Satan don't want no smoke, me, cause we mobbing, we mobbing. Mobbing, we mobbing, we mobbing, we mobbing. Mobbing, we mobbing. They said if you scared, go to church Sunday. I'm a prodigy who speak honesty, promote modesty and unity. I'm the church, not the building. I walk the walk and talk the talk. You don't like my swag, then back your bags, give your money. I don't need your two cents. I'm true to this, not new to this. Got no time for the foolishness. I fell seven times, I'm not perfect. But I'm still churching and working and searching for purpose. Loving my enemies, praising my savior, forgiving my haters. I'm Faithful for favor, we mob deep when we come in. Never forget where we come from. Same song, different drums. Trouble come, we never run. Posted in the bando with a dark valley, we candle, we bring light on top of the hill.
kill like Amanda. I'm holy filled, my soul for real. No candy rain, just many pain and many fights. Teardrop, many nights, this truth music. Do you hear it? Survivor of the fittest. Turn tough ones to shook one. We mobbing. About 50 deep on that road, me, cause we mobbing. Say no don't want no smoke with me, cause we mobbing, we mobbing. Mobbing, we mobbing, we mobbing, we mobbing. Mobbing, we mobbing. They say that if you scared, go to Chuck Sunday. You can have my folk, I can't mess my life up, nah, cause I don't like being broke They said that I'm breaking the yoke, they said that I'm switching the game up See I ain't never gonna change up, even though that I came up I don't hang with no strangers, even if they famous I mean how could you blame us, trust the people so dangerous Yeah, that's Curtis Lamar with Mobbin, uh, featuring 1K Few I think that was 1K Few on that second verse, right? Um my the the first thing I noticed was uh, when the hook came in and when Wook Few came in, like the mic sounded totally different, the recording sounded totally different uh, than than Curtis Lamar's verse. Uh, and that's one thing when I'm listening to, to to music, especially when you're putting it on radio, like it has to just be level. It has to be level with everything else. And uh, the verses were off. Um, as far as Curtis rapping, it was it was dope. Sometimes it was too stagnant where it's like dun, 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 like too long with that same rhyme scheme. Um, I do ha- like how he threw the Mob Deep stuff in there. It's called Mobbing. So, you know, he gave it shout out to Prodigy and, and Havoc. Rest in peace, Prodigy. Um, so that part was dope. Um, is this a song I would play on the radio? Probably not because of the, the level differences. And... and I know we're in the day and age of I'm going to send you my verse, but you, you still you have to make sure you mix it right so they sound equal, mm-hmm. you know? Jamaica. It's Kyle opens his mouth. My I bad. know. No, go ahead, Kyle. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, that's my biggest thing, too, is like you got to be dedicated to excellence and you got to have quality sounding music. And that's a process, man. Like, I get you on that. Like, I've been in the works with that over the years, too. And I'm just finally getting to a point where I'm like, yo, this is this is like Quan was saying, you know, more quality than what I've done in the past. So I would say, like, just dedicate yourself to quality sounding music, first and foremost. Like, that's really important. Um, As far as like the content, um, I didn't feel as as fed as I could have been with this song, if that makes sense. Like I would I was craving like more substance. It sounded like a lot of like you know what i call like christian boasting of like you know i'm doing this i'm doing that i'm at the church i'm in the mission field i'm winning souls this and that um but again just uh figure out what your target audience is and if that's what you're going for then that's what you're going for but i would crave more substance of like yo like really feed the people you know with your lyrics all right um we like a raw you know what i'm saying go ahead my bad (laughs) um so I, I agree as far as like having like a feature like I understand you know like you can't always be in a studio at the same time. Yeah. I think also too like style wise, like they were just very different styles yeah. to me. So um, one thing that I've heard from you know numerous people that are you know friends of mine and things like that is that like you never want anybody who is featured on your album their verse to be better than yours. Yeah. Um, and you want the feature to make sense. Yes, absolutely. Don't, don't just do a feature, just do one. Right, absolutely. And so like one K few, like I, I think that like he did he did a great job. And so what I would have yeah. done, I think that if I would have if I would have heard the track along with along with his lyrics, um, I would have gone back yeah. and rewritten. Um, and then tried to not necessarily sound like with the same kind of flow, but like I said, like make it cohesive. Yeah. You know, make it blend, have it make sense yeah. so that it's not some like Oh, you know, you you just plucked out a feature from somebody yeah. random, um, but I like I like the beat. Like the beat yeah. was uh, the beat was hard. Like I, I listen. It's hard for me sometimes to listen to lyrics because I really if I really enjoy the beat, I'm like I, I'll tune the lyrics out completely. Yeah. Um, and so for me for that song, like the beat, I loved it. I loved One K Few. Um, I would I would go back and write yeah and write his verse again. And, and, and my my thing and, and I agree, poli- and polish yeah, it. And polish I agree it with a your point. Better. I, I wouldn't even say rewrite it. I would say polish it more. Polish maybe, it. 
maybe delivery, mm-hmm. um, maybe tone down your tone because 1K is like yeah. on that smooth yeah, 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 yeah. tip, yeah. and then you're like, dun, 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 like a little yeah. too hard. It sounded so, very rough. Like, yeah, very yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and, and I, I wouldn't say necessarily rewrite it, but go back in there, deliver it a little bit better, a little smoother, mm-hmm. and, and make sure the mix is on point. Uh, when you have features like that, especially a feature like 1K Few, uh, yeah. Who just got signed to Reach not yeah, too long ago? Really. Like yeah, you, you want to make sure <laughs> you those songs are going to do something for you. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but big shout out, man, Curtis Lamar, um, Captain Kirk. Uh, been doing a lot uh, I got with, with music and, and, <laughs> and throwing stuff out there. And uh, blah, blah, blah. go ahead. Okay, <laughs> cool. Um, real quick, real quick. Yeah, uh, writing, like being a writer, is a process of humility. I would say, like you've got to be humble enough to say, "Yo, maybe I'm not as dope as I think I am." You know, at times. And like uh, Jamaica was saying, be don't be afraid to rewrite things and tweak things. Yeah. I'm learning that too, man. Like I used to be like, yo, I wrote a verse and it's dope and that's it. And now I'm like, God gave it to me. Yeah, to God, exactly. And now I'm like, God yo, can give you something else if he yeah, gave it the first time. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm like, yo, I could go back and write the song five times and pick the best one, you know. So I would even get creative like that and open yourself up yeah. to that. Uh, God gives pastors sermons. They still have to write them out and make sure they make sense and yeah. and are delivered the right way. But uh, we're going to jump into the next song. This is James May's Fence Music 30 for 30 freestyle right here. Gorilla Cross Speak Live Radio. <laughs> After this, I don't want no discussion. When it comes to these lyrics and beats, I'm known to crush them. Even though I don't condone destruction, still give you heat off of the top. The flow's a dope eruption. Yeah. That's an introduction. Soon we'll get to the subject. Setting precedence. I don't want to be known for rushing. If I'm reaching, then impeach. I'll politic a minute before I put the preaching in. This sickness is a precondition. If the flow's fire, the heat's a given. Sharp with the tongue, I speak precision. I know it seems suspicious. I ain't bragging, I'm talking Jesus. Without the king, wouldn't be a mission. I know you yeah. see me fishing. And I don't need a hook to feed them. If I flow right, they drawn to the current. And some might even stream it. Listen, everything's got a deeper meaning. There's freedom in the truth, so all believers keep believing. And please don't be blinded by the lie of perfection. Cause we all flawed people, we just strive to be better We sign up for redemption, realign our perception And now for protection, we look to the sky where our help is I admit, I'm a misfit that's full of blemishes But it's best to be empty for he replenishes Cause you wouldn't take a cup with dirty remnants Then fill it with clean water and expect it not to mix with it That's what repentance is, the reset button And all we're asked to do is worship, praise, respect, love him Read the Bible, never put an idol when he step above him Make disciples and him multiply what we request from him Let's go there, God is the destination Jesus the navigation Heaven is all inclusive, I'm saving up for vacation Don't think that I'm overstating I stand on his will like I'm rollerblading Get over your head and get to know the Savior But all that's probably too religious for you you lucky I didn't record a scripture or two. It's like the God stuff you ignore. But one thing's for sure, the flow's ill, so I know that it didn't bore you. Are you saying I can boast by how my gift is stupid if I never mention the spirit within that gives it to me? The rap is raw, but it isn't sushi. I give credit where credit is due, but you'd rather I skip the movie. Or better just remove it. Cause my pen be bugging, landed on the flyer's paper. That's why I'm sticking to it. Wanna get closer to the Lord, I let my lens just zoom in. Always watching over me, this is true, man. Yo, that's a gym bar. White flags waving, Lord, I surrender. I'm trying to live right. Maybe I should use my pen more. But I'm a sender. At time, repeat, offend all. But you forgive and still open them doors? Wait, was that a blackout? Is there any more track? I thought I ran out. But I always knew that you would catch me. I never had doubt. Put your trust in the Lord and make sure that your plans are pan out. Or point your eyes to the cross if you're looking for a handout. Now break that down, cause I ain't your average writer God told me let my light shine, and of course I had this fire But I'm just a vessel and the source is rather higher With an afterbody, afterlife gather, so grab a flyer And I am all in, you ain't gotta convince me He is more than enough, let's mix it up in a quick scheme That's how crazy the spits be, I'm Kobe with the flow You want it 24, but I end up giving you 60, but who's counting? My father can move a huge mountain, able to lift you up when you down and you lost with a few doubts and exhausting a huge amount of cost and he'll halt it. When you give in and you bow to the prophet, there's two sides of the coin. So just try to keep your head up and stay hungry for Christ because this life will get you fed up. A lot of books in the Bible. When's the last time you read one? A love letter from God. You should focus on the red ones. Yeah. yeah. 
But that was just a quick reminder That you can just sit and recline or attempt to find them The choice is yours but so is the consequence So try and choose wise Because knowing the savior is required Fence music yeah, that's James May's Fence Music. What? You can find that yep. jmfencemusic.bandcamp.com. Oh. That's a 30 for 30 remix. Oh, um, man. Oh, man. man, dude dude definitely got bars. Oh, man. Um, and he's been doing some battle raps lately as well. Um, my biggest thing, and I've told James this a million times, yep. like the recording quality needs to be better. Sometimes the beat was overpowering uh, what he was saying. Mm. Um, you got a studio right here, bro. Come record. <laughs> uh, he, he, he's local in he, Vegas. He's, uh, he's very dope, man. I'm I, so I, done. I, I've loved James' music, you know, ever since he he started. Uh, ever, ever since I met him out here, like yep. two years ago or whatever yep. it's been. Um, and you can check him out every Wednesday on the Our Perspective podcast on Gorilla Cross Radio, 7 p.m. West Coast time. Uh, but man, dope, dope music. Make sure you, you go jmfencemusic.bandcamp.com. Uh, check out his music. But man, bars lyrically, I mean, uh, it, it's ridiculous, man. Oh, he, man. He's, he's definitely got metaphors. There was like too um, many things. Like, I can't even remember all of them, but I just like. That Kobe one. And, and no. Have, look, well, okay, let me and, tell, and, I'm not even real a quick, fan. Real quick. And to have a song without a hook on it, yep. mm-hmm. it's and hard it, to keep people's attention you. if you're just spitting bars like that. And he has a couple other tracks where he's spitting 100 bars and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, so to be able to do that and keep people's attention is a big deal because hooks are what's supposed to. Hook you into the song, and when you don't have a hook, you better have dope metaphors right, like that right. to yeah. keep people listening. Because I don't think any of us in the studio necessarily wanted that song to end yet. No, and I, you know what? I was trying to figure. I was like, aren't we supposed to just listen to a snippet? But I was really hoping that you were just gonna like let it ride. Yeah. So thank you so much. Because <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want you yeah. to, I didn't want that music to stop. What was his artist name again? Uh, J M Fence, uh, James Mays. Fence James music is Mays. his name. James Mays. Yeah. Okay. Is that the first time you heard him, Jamaica? Yes, I've oh, never. Dang. And you know what? Like, man, I, <laughs> I'm coming back Wednesday when he's, he's here. He's so sick. Yeah, like I, the whole entire thing. I'm not even. I'm not even a basketball fan, and I was like, oh. Yeah. And there was like there was several. There was way too many to mention. Yeah. And I, I mean, it was remember. metaphor after metaphor, bar after yeah, bar. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, as far as like engineering stuff, yeah. like that's not my forte yeah. at all. But like speaking from like a fan perspective. Yeah. Like, I want to see him perform. I want to yeah. see, like, like, I loved it. I loved it's, everything it's about It's been hard that. for me just being his ghost rider and <laughs> <laughs> having him deliver oh the way I, I wrote it. You I'm feel me? So wow. I'm so done. I'm so done. No, for real. Like, James Mays, dude, like, you were, man, one of the most talented uh, MCs in Vegas and out there in the nation, in the world. Like, you wow. are one of my, one of my guys that I look to is like, <laughs> dang, like, you got a lot of uh, got a lot of talent, man. So, my biggest thing though, oh, <laughs> that's good stuff. Um, my biggest thing though, man, is like like Juan said, if the quality was there, like that would that would be the missing piece for me. And so, I think the quality of yeah, they're bugging. The quality was amazing. No, I'm um, kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and so, um, I would just say that if you get that piece, and then obviously like promote, promote, promote. But I'm um, getting it yeah. out there, man. Like if I had a catapult. And I could launch an artist. I would want to launch James Mays because I feel like the whole world needs to hear uh, what he's got to offer. From what I've heard and from what I've seen from day one, like that that night that you shut it down at that 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 bar that we went to, and um, man, it was crazy. memories and everything. I know. Well, because like he walks in and just shuts it down, and like I love what he does. He addresses the elephant in the room. He's like, "Look, I understand that you're drinking, you're smoking." you're you know this and that and you guys don't have god anywhere on your radar right now but i'm gonna be the the one to bring god to the forefront did he really say all that i mean in a matter of words right he's but not like, like literally no no no. but oh, he's okay. like he's I'm like i know you're drinking that's cool right. but let me bring god to the forefront right, right. you know and and yeah. just he weaves it in so effortlessly yeah. which is in, which is incredible so that's what i was talking about with all these other artists study james Mays's music and see that he has a really he struck a really good balance of how to implement his faith in a creative, dope fashion. I think it also depends on the person, too, because, like, I know people who are, like, naturally creative, and so it's just, for them, writing creatively is not an issue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. No, James has told me, he's like, bro, you text and drive, I write and drive. Yeah. I'm like, oh, man, that's a problem. He's That's dope. Crazy. I thoroughly enjoyed that. But I think it's good, too, for a Christian <laughs> artist to be able to go into uh, secular arenas oh, yeah, and, sure. and be able to keep doing what you're doing instead of like i gotta change it up because i'm coming into here no he kills um, that balance like and, I said. and james has been doing some battles so he has a battle up on youtube 
Uh, so make sure you check that out. Just follow him everywhere. JM Fence Music everywhere. So uh, yep. check it out. Um, okay, we're going to do like maybe two more right now. This is MC Campbell. Do you have any females on that list? Like, do you have women who send you Hashtag things? CHH sexism. I'm just uh, asking I questions, don't, and, and that's the thing. So this that's whole hashtag that we dealt with at the end of the year. I wish I would have been. A lot of I wish female I been MCs aren't pushing that and, and promoting their stuff. Uh, I actually was introduced to AI through uh, the Indie Artist Music Review. She sent a song, like, one of, one of the first times we ever did it. Um, and she's super dope. Uh, but, cool. yeah, not not a lot of – I don't I don't see any that have uh, submitted music okay. to us today. But this is MC Campbell, Life Sentence, right here at Gorilla Cross. Speak Life Radio. That's just life. Welcome back. Speak Life Radio, New Music Friday. We're doing the Any Artist Music Review. Uh, right now, that's MC Campbell with Life Sentence. And I might not be as nice on this one. Uh, man, it sounds cool. He, to me, it sounded like that Yellow Wolf and uh, Eminem song, like way too much. Like the cadence, but you weren't even pulling it off the same way. Um, so like Jamaica said earlier with artists, like don't copy your favorite artist if you want to be like a legit artist if you're just doing it for your homies to hear that's one thing it's cool but if you're like trying to be legit mm -hmm. and get people to listen to your music and really put it out there um you need to be more original you need to tighten it up i don't feel like the style he had he's he's very tight at that yet um he, you're there i mean you, you could tighten it up um but it, it sounded way too much like that to me the hook in, in the beginning, you were like saying two different things at the same time. So it was just like a little confusing uh, in my in my headphones. Um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't play that song personally. But keep working, man. Like, I mean, keep working. Anyways, Jamaica. Um, there was something lacking in the beat. OK, I, I, I can't. And like I said, you know, engineer, I, I don't, I can't pinpoint like what it was, but it just, it left me, the beat left me wanting for something more yeah. and something like to add to it, to have more depth. Um, yeah. And, and like I, like I was saying before, like with other artists, like you, if you're submitting this for radio, you have to know what that means. And I just don't, you know, like you could play that for like your Christian friends who go to church every Sunday in the car on the way to church on Sunday. Like, but if you're like, you know what I mean? But if it's like a song to just like chill or, so, you know, a song to like 
go to the mall, like go to the movies don't or like whatever. Yeah. yeah, like you just, uh, I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah. it just, it wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't impressed by it. Um, I felt lyrically, like here, here's my thing. Like I feel like yo, if you, I feel like everybody wants to be a good representative of God. Like genuinely, yeah. I really feel like people think that they want. They want that. And so if you say that, like verbally say that, because you said that in your song, like. Yep. You have to come with it. Like, you have to. Because otherwise, it's like, yo, you're making God look real dumb right now. Like, you you can't you can't do that. You have to be, like, the best at your craft. You have to be excellent. Like, God wants excellence in us. And so if you're going to say that, like, you love Christ and you, you want to do all that stuff, like, you have to, like, we. I want to be blown out of my seat by every person who says they love God through their music. Like, if that's what you're going to do do it like go hard learn learn how to write better learn how to um you know get get your um get your music mastered and like mix it mastered well you know do all those things um I, yeah beat one thing um lyrically i wasn't impressed i love wordplay i love double entendres i love metaphors and i want to i want to be able to go back into a song and be like yo like and be surprised like the next time i hear it because i heard something different than what i heard before um and there was a lot of lyri- there was a lot of lyrical content in there and so I feel like if there's yeah. a lot of lyrical content then like you have to be saying something worthy enough for people to want to continue to listen to what you have to say. Yep. Halo yeah. real quick. Yeah, I would just Sorry, it took a long time. Oh, you're good, you're good. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, I would we, just We just got to go eat the sushi thing. <laughs> <laughs> I would echo one thing that she said is is pick like are you really going to do this or is it just going to be like a hobby or something that you're you're just messing with you know like and just pick the severity at which you want to pursue it and if you're going to put god's name on it and represent christ like go hard be serious make it the best that you can make it and can i add one more thing well too might as well i know because i ahead, talk anyway um what i was going to say too is like i think constructive criticism among christians is lacking and so what i would true so and people people get offended people get their feelings hurt and things like that and i feel like I mean, everybody gets their feelings hurt with constructive criticism, but instead Not of really. most people, except for Quan, he's immune. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it can it can be a hard pill to swallow, and I think that like what makes a really good MC or even just like a person in general is to be able to take the things that people say with a grain of salt, and to be able to like say okay, instead of completely ignoring what they're saying as if it doesn't have any validity, is to really say you know what, like I'm gonna take these things that this person said. Yeah. And to really work on it and see if what they're saying is true. So And get better. Cause and get better. I, th- I think we all know, absolutely. like, if you're starting now, you're not where you want to be yet. So, and, and that's why I said not really when you said, you know, people <laughs> uh, get hurt. Because I, I think there's a lot of artists out there that, you know, I've talked to and, and seen grow mm-hmm. that they took constructive criticism right, because they right. knew they weren't at that level. It's like, all right, right. cool. I'm not getting hurt. Like, I did this and I'm trying my best. But thanks for the advice you gave me. I mean, mm-hmm. I sat in the car watching two artists, watching a uh, uh, older OG MC tell another artist like how to create his next album. Nice. And he he wasn't hurt by it. He was like, okay, cool. He's soaking up all the right. all the knowledge and dropped a dope album after that. You know. And that's how it should be. You know what I mean? Like yep. it should be that you're able to, like everything that you write, everything that you do, even in life, not even in music, but it's like it's not going to be yeah. right the first time, or it's not necessarily going to be right the first time. So to have people who can. Yep. Who care about you enough to tell you the truth? That's important. Exactly. Like, get get yes men away from and you. And have people that have been doing it for longer. Like mm-hmm. if Sway in the Morning came in here and Ryan Seacrest came in here and gave me radio advice, I'm not going to get my feelings hurt and be like, oh, man, you guys are haters. Right. It's like, yo, you're doing it, so I'm going to listen to your advice. And they've been doing and it. And get like, better. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Their talent yep. and their you know, yep. their longevity is so proven, too. We got a couple more. I'm going to get into this one. This is uh, Guidebook Beats. This is just the instrumental. Uh, we don't really do beats on here, but we are because he kept bugging me. Uh, <laughs> so this is yes. Lo- uh, Old Man Logan revisited. This is just the instrumental, so don't freestyle, Kylo. Kalo. <laughs> Kylo Ren? Kylo Ren. There we go. <laughs>
Book Beats, Old Man Logan. What do you think? I'll go with the rapper first. <laughs> um, it's tough because it's it's not my style. Um, but as far as a beat, I think you've got something there. Um, yeah, being objective, I think you've got something there, and you are onto something. I don't think it has arrived yet. I think you need to maybe mix it up a little bit and think of like a direction that it could go. And instead of just being like a, a loop of like four bars going back and you know on and on and on, maybe have a direction where you know maybe even switch up the beat halfway through to keep it unpredictable. And I think it's hard for when it's just a beat before you have an artist even on it yeah. to to do breaks and stuff like that. Cause I think a lot of uh, producers will do breaks after artist yeah. uh, records on it. But I mean, I like the beat. I like that movie sound. I I've always liked beats like that, like darker. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I like it, man. I think it sounds dope. It, just, it sounded really repetitive to me. And I know that it's different when you add lyrics on top of yeah. it. Um, but there wasn't anything that really impressed me about it. Yeah. Dope. Sorry. All right, there we go. So one out of three people will like this beat. <laughs> I, mean, right, so, I would uh, be I would be interested to see like if if somebody did something with it, yeah, and then he submitted it again with with lyrics on top of it. That would yeah, be dope. That yeah, might be a little dope like that. All right, we're gonna do two more, and then we gotta eat because uh, <laughs> and we gotta pay for parking. I'll be fine. Say that. We'll be all right. Um, this one is Plain James with searching. Thanks for sending a Rapzilla link. Fired for that. Dirty word, ministers. Look, everybody looking for something, man. But a lot of times we're looking in the wrong places. Yeah. I'm out here looking to the hills from which come of my help. Cause I am. For something greater than possessions and abundance of wealth. Um, for the true meaning of life instead of what's worthless. The Lord made me for a reason. I want to know my purpose. Eyes open, I'm on the lookout. Pulling that holy book out instead of taking the crook route. It has to be more than this world is presenting. Most people eating have a heart with deceitful intentions. With no conviction, making victims of the needy. Selling souls for bank account with O's because they greedy. Possessing excess, acting like they're not blessed yet. Building bigger barns, selfish, not selfless. Why those with less do their best to stretch crumbs. Desperation got them re up. Trying to stack ones, property bonds, serve. Time now he in next con trying to find a better way. I gotta connect form spirit, son, father. Go to them with your problems. I bet you find an answer more valuable than a dollar. Cause even with the money, there's still a void that needs to be filled. So I'm seeking the unsearchable to learn who he is. Um, I'm out here looking to the hills from which come of my help. Cause I'm um, for something greater than possessions and abundance. So well defined. For the true meaning of life instead of what's worthless. worthless. The Lord made me for a reason. I want to know my purpose. A lot of people seeking affirmation from the opposite sex. All right, that's Plain James searching right here at Gorilla Cross Speak Live Radio. Indie Artist Music Review. We're going to do one more after this. Um, Jamaica, what do you think? I really love the horns. Okay. Like, I really. The horns stood out to you? Yeah, they did. They did from, from the very, very beginning. Um, that was a song I feel like like I liked it. I think it would have like I would have to I would have to listen to it to like let it grow on me more. Yeah. Um, and then I felt like it like I felt like I was straining to hear his voice. Like it felt like the music was like a little bit too high. Um It's funny because I actually know Flint James, so like I feel <laughs> I feel kinda weird. Like I feel like I'm like reviewing one of my friends. Um <laughs> But um I like the song. I think I would have to like I w I would continue to listen to it throughout the whole entire thing, and I would I would let it grow on me. So I would I don't know I'd probably give it like a seven. I know we're not rating songs or anything like that, <laughs> but I would say like a seven just because it was intriguing enough for me to want to listen to it again. Yeah. But I would I would have to like I said I would have to like really like modify like I don't know how it would sound in my car. I know you know music can yeah. sound that way, and so I mean you guys are the experts as far as like you know engineering and stuff like that. So. Did, did it sound like that to you guys too where his voice like like where the, a little the music bit, was a little okay. bit. and i think a lot of times it's not even necessarily the mix sometimes the delivery like okay because he's when, really when, he's really like he's yeah. naturally soft-spoken like he's a soft-spoken and, and when you're recording in, in the studio like there's a 
There's mic technique. There, there's a lot of stuff okay. that goes into it. You don't just grab a mic and record. <laughs> and a lot of artists don't, don't know that, though. You Got know, you. like if you okay. have a certain voice, not all microphones are going to work with that certain voice. Or you got to EQ it, right? You got to do there's, – there's a lot more that goes into it than just having a mic and a DAW and, and recording a song. Got you. Okay. Um, okay. But it, 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 I wasn't in love with the song. It was good. It, it's not something I wouldn't play. It's not something I would, like, rush out and go find either, you know? Mm -hmm. um, it, it would be a song that if it was on, I wouldn't be mad at it. But at the same time, like, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't jump on it. It wasn't very catchy to me. Got you. Two things I would say for playing James. Like, I think it was an original sound. I thought it was kind of cool that you felt comfortable uh, with yourself on the song. Um, I feel like you were yourself, and I, I appreciate that a lot. And then secondly, I would say uh, there was substance there. Like, you weren't just... Um, you know rattling off on some stuff you were actually going deep with some things and making me think while i was listening because i i gravitate to the lyrics more than the beat mm -hmm. so i can forgive the beat sometimes really? if if oh, if yeah. the lyrics are on point yeah. for me i love the beat love 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 the beat. yeah i feel i, I feel that i'm kind of the same way sometimes but yeah um, i mean if it's really bad <laughs> shout, out, shout out to playing james because he's watching us right now hey, hey. <laughs> And I like when they're watching. Don't yeah, don't absolutely. send me music and then not, <laughs> you know, not even watch uh, us critique your music. Right, right. Um, all right, we're gonna get into one more, and we will do this once a month. Um, so you, you know, make sure you tune in every month. We're gonna be doing it once a month. We got different things we do on Speak Life Radio New Music okay. Friday. Next week might be the freestyle competition. Uh, we got different things we do. So uh, we also got Speak Life verses where we, we're gonna be putting a song. Uh, up against another song and have the fans vote. Uh, so we're trying to do a lot of things to interact more with you, the artists uh, that do listen in and tune in a lot. Uh, I'm going to get into my man, Kid Got It, No Limit, produced by Des Wright, right here, Gorilla Cross, Speak Life Radio, No Limit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ain't no limit what my God do. Got me screaming out the na na na, and they know I'm about it, about it too. Way I'm screaming out the na na na. I thought I told you, I'm a, I'm a soldier. All for the saints, like I live in the Nola. I'm free now, ain't no way to hold me. I changed so much, they be thinking that they clone me. Got me feeling like I'm Gucci, they don't accept the new me. Judging me more than Judy, and I just be on my coolie. No, I gotta keep it moving forward, like the tab stuck. I can spot a hater without a lineup. They coming back to back He said that I'm back in that Then you can track that bag Cause this is facts on facts Like I was stack and stack Ain't no line in that Ain't no limit what my God do Got me screaming out the na 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 And they know I'm about it, about it too Way I'm screaming out the na 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 I thought I told you I'm a, I'm a soldier All for the saints like I live in the NOLA I'm free now Ain't no way to hold me I've changed so much They be thinking they be asking, boy, how you do that there? Have to tell them it ain't me, it's the man upstairs. Trying to break them out some truth, they wanna hear that there. So I just show them who I'm with, like it's Greek week all year. See, I never been a cubit pledged out for Omega. So shout out to my dogs that be reppin' on the major. I'm signed to the rock and they ain't talking about a label. Now they placing them labels, playing me for a fool. Like it's the first of April, telling me I ain't cool. They ain't pushing the bourbon, the lack of on some tools. They ain't the snap on man, known for keeping tools. I'm bragging about making girls sell like young my dude. Oh. Rapper these days, just a bunch of balloons. Sweaty from the jungle, don't you do as they do. You should do as they say. Simon should be their names. Always rapping about the trap where you help them move away. Ain't no limit what my God do. Got me screaming out the na na na. And they know I'm about it, about it too. Way I'm screaming out the na na na. I thought I told you, I'm a, I'm a soldier. All for the same. Yeah, so that's the final song we're doing right here on it, the Indie Artist Music Review. That is uh, Kid Got It. The song is called No Limit. Um, I like that song a lot. Uh, I think its delivery was dope. Um, I think it would sound dope in the car. And at a show, I think that would be like the hypest song in his set. Uh, not know, not knowing what other songs he has, but I think that song would go like at a show. Um, and so both of those things. My favorite thing about this song is the release date was October second, two thousand and seventeen. 
when I turned a certain age. So uh, <laughs> shout out to releasing the song on my birthday, bro. You didn't even know that. But uh, but I, I like that song a lot. That's the song that I would definitely consider putting in the radio stream and, and playing that throughout, you know, throughout the day on a Gorilla Cross radio. So send me that track. Kid got it. Email it to me, music at gorillacross.com. I I was a big fan. Um, I really enjoyed it. The beat goes really hard. You like him better than James Mays? Um, I like them both no. for different <laughs> reasons, but I, I like James more. But right. that was dope, though. Um, yeah, I I really like like Juan said your uh, your style of like flow and stuff felt really comfortable and not like rushed or anything like that. Like you felt like in the pocket and like really comfortable on the track. And so and, and real quick. Uh, the, the next two minutes that we got of the show, if any of the artists that we critiqued want to call in and and say anything to any <laughs> of us, hit us up, 702-608-3259. If you don't know the number, look at the top of the video. It's on there. 702-608-3259. Go ahead. I was going to say, I can put in the phone number if you wanted to. But. Yeah, but super dope swag on that um, that whole song. Like it's And Quan's right. That would go at a show for sure. Yeah. I feel bad because I didn't really like it. Ooh. Don't feel bad. I mean, it's... I mean, no, I mean, not like I mean, like I don't like really, really. Okay, I don't really, really feel bad, but I, if it feels like you guys saw something different than I saw, and so I think that that's interesting. I just like that's just but, not but my... real quick. On that note, is just because we give our opinion doesn't mean right. other people won't like it, right? Either. So don't just take one or two people's opinions. But if it does come to mixing and stuff like that, take people's opinions. Go ahead. Because right. <laughs> there's preference in songs, and then there's, like, yes. the quality of, yes. like, you're not in the pocket. Your right. your, your mix isn't right. So, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, I, it just wasn't my cup of tea. Like, I, I thought it was done well. You know what I mean? Like, I could imagine it on the radio. I could imagine it in the car. Like, everything that, the, you know, the guy said here. Like, I could imagine all of that yeah. stuff. It just wasn't my cup of tea. I didn't really, like, man, like, when I... Like, I love when music, regardless of whether it's hip-hop or R&B or whatever, like, I like when it evokes something inside of me. Yeah. Like, it makes me feel some type of way, whether it's hype, whether it's nostalgia, like, whatever it is. Like, I, I that's what I like about yeah. music. Um, and it just didn't do that. I it feel just, you. Yeah, it just didn't do that for me. So uh, We got a phone caller real quick. Yes. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Yo, you guys are crazy. It's James May. Yeah. Yo, you guys are crazy. <laughs> Saw that coming. You guys are crazy. No Limit was fire. Searching was fire. I love that searching one. Really? <laughs> so I think you're just saying that. Like it had, no, No it, Limit. I, I, hey, I James, I gave No Limit. All right, we're playing that on your show on Wednesday. <laughs> yes, let's do it. We can do that. We can play searching. All right, we got it. I like that. I'd love to get more feedback on that one. Um, uh, it had a, you know what I'm saying? I love the whole, um, the, 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 the sample and the background and the everything was crazy, crazy about it. Yeah, the you know what I'm saying? He he bled in with the sample. It was amazing. Um, but yeah, thanks for the feedback, guys. I just wanted to mess with y'all, man. You guys are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all. And, 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 and the... Wait, James, My... wait. Hold on. He can't even hear your mic. He can only hear these two for some reason. Uh, did he hang up? James, you still there? I'm here. I'm, here. I'm, right. Right. I'm right here. Just pull that mic over to her. To her. Uh, Jamaica has something to say, and you know how we have to do these mics right now until we get this fixed. James. No, I got, brother, I know the system. <laughs> James, can you hear me? We good. Yes, I can. Yo, sir, I need to know you. <laughs> Whoa. Like, That's you're not. so dope. No, I'm serious, man. Like, I really, like, I'm very picky with artists no, she, and stuff She's a like big that. fan of music. And, I'm a huge yeah. fan of music. And um, I was I was very, 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 very blown away by your delivery and by your hey, music. So thank you. I, thank you for submitting I, I your stuff. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, I salute to my God. I, I, I'm literally, like, his vessel. So I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Um... It's a free download to everybody who's listening. If you want to yeah, get that man. James Mays fans music, you know, Bank App is free download. If you want to give a little money, God bless you. I got kids. <laughs> um, <Thanks>. Don't worry, <laughs> bro. Like, that, I'm, man, definitely, yeah. I'm definitely going to be sharing your stuff, man. I really enjoyed it. Dope. Hey, but blessings to you. Blessings to you, man. I love this show. I, I've been on this show um, on Friday. Um, I feel like I, I get to be a little bit uh, meaner on this show. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you guys are doing a great job. Yo, Kyle, man, you know what I'm saying? Let's link, bro. I love you, man. Y- uh, y'all be y'all be great. All yes. right. And uh, James Mays is a taxi driver, so we don't respect him as much as we should <laughs> here in the Uber and Lyft Uber, community. Right? Uh, <laughs> but shout out to James Mays. So and, funny. man, he, he was so nice when he did the Indie Artist Music Review with me. 
I had to kick him off the show. I'm like, bro, you can't do it no more. <laughs> he, he was he liked everyone's song. <laughs> I liked them all. But no, nah, he's he's a good guy. <laughs> he's a good guy. No, but uh, hopefully we'll get him on here again maybe next month to do, do the any uh, artist music review with us. And uh, yeah, he's out here all the time. So come through Wednesday if you want. Yeah, and, definitely. Uh, watch his show with us. You could take pictures for me. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll be the. I'm just I'll back here working the boards. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I got you. But uh. Yeah, so that's our show. Yo, we love you guys. We thank you all for <laughs> tuning in. Um, shout out once again to Kay Alico, a brand new artist signed to God Over Money. If, you, if you're just now tuning in and missed the interview, make sure you watch the replay. Share the replay. If you're an artist and had your song reviewed on the show, please share the replay. We'll have it up on YouTube also. We'll have it up on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play. Uh, subscribe to us at Gorilla Cross everywhere, every social media even Snapchat. We don't snap on there, but we're on there. Uh, but yeah, man. Kyle, thanks for coming through. Definitely. Thanks, Intellect, Juan. thanks for coming through. Licorice, thanks for coming through. <laughs> Jamaica Jacobson, you'll be here more. Kyle, Kyle's in and out all the time, too. Yay. So uh, a lot of these spaces you'll see more and more as uh, weeks go by. But we are here for a brand new season of Speak Life Radio. This is season 12, and I'm really excited about that. So uh, New Music Friday every Friday. Uh, not this Monday, but starting next Monday, we're doing Speak Life Radio primetime, 7 p.m. every Monday. We're going to be doing a lot of interviews uh, with people who aren't just artists, locals in Vegas that might be doing something, maybe even some athletes. Uh, we got Unnamed Sports Show every Tuesday and Thursday, 2 p.m. West Coast time. We got James Mays with the uh, Odd Perspective podcast every Wednesday, 7 p.m. with Brittany Sol and T'Angelo. Uh, we got special guest Bruce uh, from the Temptations in here on Wednesday for that. So uh, make sure you check that out. So, yeah, download everything. Follow us everywhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Love you guys. Peace. Peace. Peace.